The end of the world. In the zombie-infested city, I protected my sister to survive for 10 years, and it was not easy to escape from life. I thought I could finally live a peaceful life, but ushered in the soldier's cold muzzle of the gun. Although I tried my best to explain that I didn't carry the virus, they remained unmoved. Suddenly, one of the soldiers misfired, and in the next moment, a bloody hole appeared in my sister's head, and she collapsed on the ground, watching my only family member die. I broke down, and covered my sister's forehead helplessly to prevent the blood from flowing out, but the scarlet blood still dyed my palms red. At the same time, all of this was broadcasted live globally, but tens of billions of viewers clapped their hands when they saw the scene. In their opinion, I am a dangerous person, not to mention the zombie virus that I may be carrying. Even after living in this zombie city for 10 years, my hands must be stained with blood. Sorry, just went off. An officer said to me full of teasing, you can come out now, since it is proven that you are alive, it will be fine. Just now he received a message from above, wanting to send me to the lab to study the zombie virus that I might be carrying. I sniffed, but I just gave him a cold look, because I could no longer speak. At this moment, I lost the function of speech, lost the ability to think, and all my emotions seemed to have died along with my sister's death, except for the endless rage, holding my sister's corpse in my arms. I turned around with empty eyes and quietly walked towards the hole that had been blown out, in the eyes of everyone who was puzzled and confused, walked back into the zombie-infested Russian speed city. Inside the live broadcast room, countless netizens saw this scene, and all of them thought that I was crazy. When the officer saw this scene, his face was cold. But what should he do? Sir? He inquired. Let him go. Since he seeks death himself, there is no need to care. A cold sneering voice came from within the headset. Good. Then the officer ordered. Everyone is ready to station here. Make sure not to let any zombie escape. Ready to stand by. Ready to repair the potholes in the city wall. At this time, in the middle of the city, in a broken and corrupt rental house, I quietly sat on the ground holding my sister's body. My eyes were godless. Brother promised to protect you. Obviously we are close to succeeding. Tears of blood kept slipping down, dripping onto my sister's face. We just want to live. What's the crime? What's wrong? I roared, hissed and rose. My only remaining hand slammed heavily on the ground. The bitterness inside made me lose hope for life. Just when the hatred in my heart reached its peak, a mechanical voice rang out. Is it a choice to languish in the middle of this city and finally be eaten by zombies? Or is it a choice to let the end times descend on the whole world? My face changed violently. My eyes slowly began to focus. A flash of horror in my eyes. In my mind, the mechanical voice once again made a prompt. I choose to let the end of the world. I hissed. My eyes filled with madness and insanity. Divine evolution system binding successful. Please host. From now on, feel free to let the entire world fall into darkness. It was at this time that a mechanical voice rang out in my mind. System. What is your role? I hurriedly inquired. Host. This system has four major functions. Evolution. You can kill zombies and then seize the zombie purification factor. Thus making the body achieve perfect purification. Control the zombies infected due to you. You will be able to completely control the other party. Killing. Through killing you can get kill points. Exchange. You can exchange anything you want through kill points. After I finished reading this information, I put my eyes back. At the same time, the system's voice in my head appeared again, presenting you with a newbie gift pack. Congratulations to the host. You have obtained the original virus and one-time random shift ability. After the use of the original virus, my body will become the cradle of the virus. A drop of my blood, a drop of my sweat, and any tissues will be accompanied by the virus. And after the use of the random shift, it will appear in randomly a city, fusing the virus from the original place. Without any hesitation, I said directly, in the next moment, I only felt a stabbing pain coming from my body. My veins on my forehead burst out, and my eyes became bloodshot. But I clenched my teeth and didn't make any sound. The pain this time, although it was more exaggerated than back then when I personally chopped off the infected left arm, but for me after losing my sister, it was just a drop in the bucket. I don't know how much time passed before the pain in my body slowly disappeared, and in its place, a lightness came from my body, and I could feel my body surging with endless power. I struck out with my fist. A dull ringing sound rang out. The wall in front of me was directly smashed through, and now I finally had some strength to take revenge. I murmured in a low voice. A crazy plan appeared in my mind. I want to infect the whole world. I want the whole world to fall into the end times. System. Will I be able to bring my sister back to life in the future? 
I couldn't help but ask. Of course you can. But the preconditions are very difficult. You need to make the entire world more than 90% of the people become zombies after the system's voice said. I was slightly stunned at the words, and a glimmer of hope surfaced in my eyes. After a moment of silence, I walked out of the house and dug a hole outside, burying my sister in it. Tang Ying, believe me, brother won't let you sleep here forever. I then took a deep breath and slowly said, System, transfer me, and the next moment my entire body disappeared from the spot, appearing in a falling schedule 1, 0, 0, 0 kilometers away. I walked down the street with a disheveled face, and when other people saw it, they all frowned, covered their noses, and walked away in great disgust. At this time I picked up a newspaper at my feet and looked at what was written on it, and a coldness emerged in my eyes. Was the official public vote in favor of letting the survivors walk out of Russian hacking city, or deporting them back again? The final result was announced, and the result was that the votes for letting us walk out of the city amounted to 13 million, while the votes for deporting us back amounted to 1.536 billion. It seems everyone wants me dead, I muttered in a low voice. A smirk appeared on my face, and then I looked down. There were also screenshots of some netizens comments on the top. Such a person should die. I don't know what those soldiers were thinking. This kind of person is really selfish. Hasn't he ever thought about how much of a danger it would pose to our world if zombies walked out of the city after he blew up the wall? If I were to survive in the middle of Russian speed city, I would definitely choose to commit suicide. There was no way I would even think about escaping. Looking at these comments, my eyes were filled with killing intent. These people are putting it lightly. The 10 years that my sister and I have been dependent on each other is nothing short of a hell on earth. A mole cricket still steals a life, let alone a human being. He he. Since that's the case, then I'll turn Sunset City into Russian hacking city as well. I'll see if you guys choose to commit suicide or choose to run away at that time. And those people who surrounded Russian hacking city in the first place, will they surround Sunset City again today? In the zombie ridden city, I protected my sister for 10 years and managed to escape thinking that I could finally live a peaceful life. But all I got was the cold muzzles of the soldiers. Although I tried my best to explain that I didn't carry the virus, they remained unmoved. Suddenly, one of the soldiers misfired. And in the next moment, a bloody hole appeared in my sister's head, and she collapsed on the ground, watching my only family member die. I broke down, and covered my sister's forehead helplessly to prevent the blood from flowing out. But the scarlet blood still dyed my palms red. At the same time, all of this was broadcasted live globally, but tens of billions of viewers were clapping their hands faster when they saw the scene. In their opinion, I was a dangerous person, not to mention the lost virus that I might be carrying on my body. Even if I had survived in this lost city for 10 years, my hands must have been stained with blood. Sorry, I just went off the rails an officer said to me with a teasing look. You can come out now, since it has been proved that you are alive. It will be fine. Just now he received a message from above wanting to send me to the lab to study the lost virus that I might be carrying. I sniffed, but just gave him a cold look because I could no longer speak. At this moment, I lost the function of speech, lost the ability to think, and all my emotions seemed to have died along with my sister's death, except for the endless rage, holding my sister's corpse in my arms. I turned around with empty eyes and quietly walked towards the hole that had been blown out. In the eyes of everyone who was puzzled and confused, walked back into the loss-ridden Russian speed city. Inside the live broadcast room, countless netizens saw this scene, and all of them thought that I had gone crazy. When the officer saw this scene, his face was cold. But what should he do? Sir? He inquired. Let him go. Since he seeks death himself, there is no need to care. A cold sneering voice came from within the headset. Good. Then the officer ordered. Everyone is ready to station here. Make sure not to let any of the loss escape. Ready to stand by. Ready to repair the potholes in this city wall. At this time, inside a dilapidated and corrupt rented house in the city, I quietly sat on the ground holding my sister's body. My eyes were godless. Brother promised to protect you. Obviously we are close to succeeding. Tears of blood kept slipping down, dripping onto my sister's face. We just want to live. What's the crime? What's wrong? I roared. Hissed and rose. My only remaining hand slammed heavily on the ground. The bitterness in my heart made me lose hope for life. Just as the hatred in my heart reached its peak, a mechanical voice rang out. Is it a choice to languish in the midst of this city and be eaten by loss in the end? Or is it a choice to let the end times descend on the whole world? My face changed violently. My eyes began to slowly focus. A flash of horror flashed in my eyes. In my mind, the mechanical voice once again made a prompt. 
I choose to let the end of the world descend on the world. I hissed, my eyes filled with madness and insanity. Divine evolution system binding successful. Please host, from now on, feel free to let the entire world fall into darkness. It was at this time that a mechanical voice rang out in my mind. System, what is your role? I hurriedly inquired. Host, this system has four major functions. Evolution. You can kill the loss and then seize the zombie purification factor, thus making the body to achieve perfect purification. Control the loss infected due to you. You will be able to completely control the other party killing. Through killing you can get kill points exchange. You can exchange kill points for anything you want to exchange. After I finished reading this information, I withdrew my gaze back. At the same time, the voice of the system in my mind appeared again, presenting you with a newbie package. Congratulations to the host. You have obtained the original virus and one-time random shift ability. After the use of the original virus, my body will become the cradle of the virus. Every drop of my blood, every drop of my sweat, and any tissues will be accompanied by the virus. And the random shift, after its use, it will appear in randomly a city, fusing the virus from the original place. I didn't have any hesitation and said directly. In the next moment, I only felt a stabbing pain coming from my body. My veins on my forehead burst out, and my eyes became bloodshot. But I clenched my teeth and didn't make any sound. The pain this time, although it was more exaggerated than back then when I personally chopped off the infected left arm, but for me after losing my sister, it was just a drop in the bucket. I don't know how much time passed before the pain in my body slowly disappeared, replaced by a lightness coming from my body, and I could feel my body surging with endless power. I struck out with my fist. A dull ringing sound rang out. The wall in front of me was directly smashed through, and now I finally had some strength to take revenge. I murmured in a low voice. A crazy plan appeared in my mind. I want to infect the whole world. I want the whole world to fall into the end times. System. Will I be able to bring my sister back to life in the future? I couldn't help but ask. Of course you can, but the preconditions are very difficult. You need to make more than 90% of the people in the whole world become zombies. After that, the system's voice said. I was slightly stunned at the words, and a glimmer of hope surfaced in my eyes. After a moment of silence, I walked out of the house and dug a hole outside, burying my sister in it. Tang Ying, believe me, brother won't let you sleep here forever. I then took a deep breath and slowly said, the system shifted me, and the next moment my entire body disappeared from its original location, appearing in a fall schedule 1000 kilometers away. I walked down the street with a disheveled face, and when other people saw it they all frowned covered their noses, and walked away in great disgust. At this time I picked up a newspaper at my feet and looked at what was written on it, and a coldness emerged in my eyes. Was the official public vote in favor of letting the survivors walk out of Russian hacking city, or deporting them back again? The final result was announced, and the result was that 13 million votes were cast in favor of letting the survivors walk out of the city, while 1.536 billion votes were cast in favor of expelling them back again. It seems everyone wants me dead. I muttered in a low voice. A smirk appeared on my face, and then looked down. There were also screenshots of some netizens comments on the top. Such a person deserves to die. I don't know what those soldiers were thinking. This kind of person is really selfish. Hasn't he ever thought about how much of a danger it would pose to our world if zombies walked out from it after he blew up the walls of the city? If I were to survive in the middle of Blackmail City, I would definitely choose to commit suicide. There was no way I would even think about escaping. Looking at these comments, my eyes were filled with killing intent. These people speak lightly. The ten years that my sister and I have been dependent on each other is nothing short of a hell on earth. A mole cricket still steals its life, let alone a human being. He he. Since that's the case, then I'll turn Sunset City into Russian hacking city as well. I'll see if you guys choose to commit suicide or choose to run away at that time. And those people who surrounded Russian hacking city in the first place, will they surround Sunset City again now? A touch of madness surfaced in Li Chankong's eyes. Wait, those survivors outside will surround Sunset City. What would Sunset City become? Would the rest of the people remain on the sidelines? Will the rest of the people remain on the sidelines, not caring about anything? Will the people of Sunset City regret that they didn't help Russian Speed City? Did they ever not help Russian Speed City? Suppressing the zombie virus riot? Thinking about this, Li Chankong's heart then felt a surge of pleasure. Afterwards, he walked quickly in a direction. Ten minutes later. He asked questions all the way to a waterworks. This was the largest tap water plant in Sunset City, responsible for purifying water resources and supplying tens of millions of people throughout the city. A large portion of the city's living water. 
He thought that if he wanted to quickly turn the entire Sunset City into a zombie nation, then this is the only way. Entering the water plant. The fence here was very high, a full 10 meters. However, it could not stop Li Chang Kong at all. With just one jump, Li Chang Kong jumped directly into it. Then he looked all the way through the plant. At this moment, night had completely fallen. The staff in the factory had all gotten off work. Only some security guards were left still working, but they were also lacking in interest and were all touching the fish. The tap water plant, and there was nothing valuable, there was no one to steal it at all. So, Li Chang Kong was almost unhindered all the way. He arrived in front of a large pool. This pool, which was thousands of square feet in size, looked like a huge swimming pool. It had many water pipes on it, which were constantly pumping water from it, and then transporting it to the entire city through other tiny water pipes. And the pool was also constantly seeping water in during this period. A balance was always maintained, so that it was able to transport a supply of domestic water to the entire city. System. Will the Idu primordial virus be destroyed by the boiling water? Li Chang Kong inquired. Host. The survivability of the primordial virus is very strong, they will be in 100 degrees of boiling water, gradually reduce the activity, but this process will take at least one hour. The mechanical voice of the system sounded. When Li Chang Kong heard this, a smile appeared on his face. He then jumped directly into this pool. Starting to swim without scruples, he drank freely. Ten years in Russian hacking city. He hadn't even had the time to properly clean his body. After all, water was a rather precious resource in Russian speed city, and usually one could only economize on drinking water. And bathing was more of a matter of waiting for the rain. It often rained before he was able to take a bath. He swam and soaked in the pool, washing his body to his heart's content. And in his unseen perspective, his entire body was like a virus mother, with the moment he jumped into the pool. There were countless viruses pouring out of his body, and then spreading throughout the pool. It was then sucked up and transported out by the water pipes. I currently do not possess the ability to breathe underwater. Li Chang Kong held his breath for almost half an hour. Poking his head out of the pool, he whispered to himself. This pool, thousands of square meters, was even more than 50 meters deep. It had a full million cubic meters of water. And it was constantly being replenished. As long as he stayed in this pool for two days, the entire Sunset City would be finished. Unfortunately, I can't do it yet. A single drop of blood is able to infect the entire pool. Li Chang Kong murmured in his heart. Host, as your strength continues to rise, the effect of your virus will also be stronger. I believe that you will definitely be able to infect the entire pool with a single drop of blood. Meanwhile, host, your blood and flesh are the best tonic for zombies. The zombies you create with your blood will have the wisdom of memories belonging to the living. However, blood cannot be diluted, and after dilution, it can only carry a powerful virus, but it cannot make the other party have memories and wisdom. The system's voice sounded in Li Chang Kong's mind. When Li Chang Kong heard this, a smile appeared on his face. This world, it's really getting more and more interesting, isn't it? Sunset City. Inside a rented house. Young men and women were laughing and joking. They had just finished a good ranked hacking game. The men and women were lying on the bed, with the woman snuggled in the man's arms. I'll tell you what, baby, did you pay attention to that thing in Russian Speed City at noon today? The woman asked this time, smiling and joking. Concerned ah, the whole world, who has not been concerned ah, I was in the company all day today and people were talking about it. If you ask me, it's long past time to use nuclear bombs to level Russian speed city, so that all of us have been surviving under the threat of zombies. The people up there don't know what to think but they even watched that person escape back to Russian speed city. If he continues to detonate the city walls, and the zombies all run out by then, that would be bad. The man shook his head and said with a disinterested expression. Yeah, I even saw someone on the internet talking about wanting to let that guy run out. Do you think there are too many saints online? The woman chimed in. To them the things of Russian speed city were as far away as the sky. It was like celebrity gossip, the new melons on the internet. It was merely a pastime after tea. Hey, life is too good these days. It's like this, these people don't think about what would become of them if they were in the middle of Russian speed city. This kind of holy mother of God, I guess if they were in the city of Russia hacking, they wouldn't be able to survive for even a day, right? Fortunately, this kind of Madonna is still in the minority and we won't have a zombie crisis here like in Russian Horror City. The man shook his head. The woman nodded at that, then got up and went to the restroom to take a shower. He had just hacked a ranked game and got his body covered in sweat. He really couldn't take it if he didn't wash it. Clattering. In the bathroom, the sound of water flowing continuously reached the man's ears. A flash of anticipation surfaced in the man's eyes. He suddenly came to feel something again and planned to do it again. At this same time, in the middle of the bathroom, the woman faced the shower and let go of her body to her heart's content, 
while opening her mouth to catch the water in the middle of the shower and rinse her mouth. She felt that her mouth had a slight odor, and in the process, some drops of water entered her body, and it brought this deadly toxin. Only she didn't feel anything. It wasn't long. She then finished her shower and walked out. The man was lying on the bed, his eyes closed as if he had fallen into a deep sleep. The woman leaned on the bed, and the man suddenly opened his eyes at this moment, pressing the woman underneath him. However, the next instant, he froze, because, at this moment, the woman's face was becoming pale at a speed visible to the naked eye, while her eyes were also filled with bloodshot eyes, and even more filled with some turbidity. What's wrong? The woman asked suspiciously. Are you sick? The man asked with concern. No? The woman shook her head. The next moment. Roar. The woman violently erupted into a hissing sound. At this same time, a direct roll over pinned the man down. Then opening her bloody mouth, she bit down on the man's neck. Ah! Help! Forfeit! The man screamed, trying to push the woman away. However, it was realized that he couldn't do it at all. It wasn't long. The entire room fell into silence. All that remained was, the sound of chewing, and a faint hissing sound. Roar! Linduan Fitness Swimming Club. Today was the swimming pool's once a week water change. At this time of the year, it was a hot summer day, and it was a weekend, so there were a lot of people who came to swim. At this moment, they were all dressed in waiting. It didn't take long. The water in the pool had already been completely changed. Hundreds of people were showing off their swimming strokes in the middle of this pool. On the watchtower, a swimming coach was playing with his cell phone with his head down. Shit. This kind of socially dangerous terrorist should have been gotten straight to death a long time ago. Didn't think that I would even let him run back? The swimming coach shook his head and muttered to himself in a low voice, with an indignant expression on his face. In his opinion, Russian Speed City was already hell today. Even if there were still people alive inside. Even if there were still people alive inside, they shouldn't be called people anymore. They should have all been killed a long time ago. Suddenly, a scream came from the middle of the pool. The swimming coach jerked his head up and looked towards the middle of the pool. His usual job was to stand guard here, and if someone was drowning, he would promptly step in to rescue them. Then he saw a man seemingly sinking in the water as if he was drowning. He was just about to jump in and rescue it. And by this time, there was already another middle-aged man, very close to him, swimming towards him. However, just at this moment, he saw that drowning man, at this time, directly grabbed the middle-aged uncle's arm, and then directly just bit down. In an instant, a splash of scarlet red surged out in the pool. The scarlet then grew more and more. Crap, this is a fucking psycho, right? When the swimming coach saw this scene, his eyes widened with horror. He hurriedly ran down the watchtower and ran in the direction of the drowning man, intending to rescue it, although the other party had a nervous condition. But if the other party died in this pool, he would have to take the blame. And he was able to see, in the middle of the pool, the drowning man was directly hugging the middle-aged uncle and started to nibble on him. At the same time, screams, roars, and hisses came from many parts of the pool. The fitness trainer turned his head and took a look. It scared him almost to death. Crap. He was horrified. Only to see that in the middle of this pool, there were an unknown number of men and women who were gnawing on each other at the moment. The pool, which had just had its water changed, was all completely dyed red with blood at this moment. No. 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 This isn't real. This is not true. When the fitness trainer saw this scene, he only felt his scalp go numb and panicked to the extreme within his heart. By this moment, where did he not know what had happened? At one time, he thought that it was incomparably far away from them. Once he thought it was completely impossible for this to happen to these people. Once he thought that Russian Speed City had been completely sealed off. Zombies. Everything that happened in Ohio City. At this moment, it's all coming true. The zombie virus has leaked. In the pool at. All of them were zombies. He staggered backward, he felt a warring in both his legs, wanting to run away, but he felt weak in every hand and foot. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous he muttered in a low voice, then found a direction to run quickly, and then ran head on into one. The young man with a magnificent figure who had just finished training, showered, and walked out from the middle of the bathroom. Deathstroke. Zombie. The coach prompted. However the young man turned his head. It was a twisted, red eyes, which were full of bloodthirsty rhyme, the face was already rotting and twisting. The spread of the virus. It was far faster than what Li Chang Kong had imagined. Li Chang Kong had only taken a bath in this pool and swam a few round trips before he had already infected all the viruses in these waters, and in the outside world. At this moment, the entire Sunset City has all turned into doomsday, hell, purgatory. Wearing a black trench coat, Li Chang Kong walked on the streets and looked at the silent and dead streets. It was a completely different concept from when he came yesterday. 
When he had just come yesterday, the streets were filled with pedestrians and there were people hawking goods everywhere. And now, there was no one present on the streets. Only a faint hissing sound came from among some street corners. This hissing sound was too familiar to Li Changkong. Once upon a time, countless nights and days, he had fallen asleep listening to these hissing sounds. Once, he thought that this sound was comparable to the hissing of a devil from the middle of hell. However, now, they were even more wonderful than heavenly music. This world is being as I thought it would be. This feeling, so good. Li Changkong raised his only remaining arm, and his eyes were filled with the rhythms of madness. All of the zombies in this sunset city were infected by the virus that he was carrying on his body. He could clearly sense it. How many zombies were in Sunset City at the moment? When converted into a radar map, there were countless red dots in a map area in his mind. Each red dot represented a zombie. In that case, then let this end of the world descend more violently. Li Changkong licked his lips and murmured in a low voice. Nowadays, the zombies in Sunset City had already exceeded a million. And these million zombies were expanding at an extremely fast rate. Li Changkong walked into an alley. In front of him were two zombies, they were a man and a woman and their bodies were currently filled with scarlet blood and a little bit of broken meat. They were gnawing on a corpse on the ground. And just at this time, that corpse also climbed up from, and despite its body being broken, it still turned into a zombie. Ha ha ha, these three zombies heard Li Chang Kong's voice. However, they did not send any desire to attack Li Chang Kong. Li Chang Kong merely glanced at them. Roar, roar. The three zombies let out a faint hissing sound at this moment. In the next instant. They were taken in by Li Changkong and silently followed behind him. And Li Changkong continued to walk towards further away. The zombies that wandered aimlessly could not form an effective fighting force at all. Fighting one by one, trying to beat the heavily armed army outside? It was almost impossible. But, as long as these zombies were able to unite and become an army of zombies, with their ability to contain no fear of death, they will become the most terrifying existence in the world. They will be like locusts crossing the border. Wherever they pass. Not an inch of grass will grow. At this moment, Li Changkong is trying to gather a tide of zombies. A zombie army. As long as he had his command, it would only take two or three days. The entire Sunset City would be able to turn into a real Russian horror city, and the original 10 million people would die over 9 million people, reaching a true 90% casualty rate. And he would have an army of nearly 10 million zombies. He would be invincible. Li Changkong walked all the way. He was aimless because he was not familiar with Sunset City at all. And at this time, there were already thousands of zombies behind him. Li Changkong arrived at a shopping mall. The glass doors of this mall had been completely shut down. It was possible to see that there were some bloodstains on the ground inside, but luckily, it wasn't much. There were also some zombie corpses. He was also able to see as if there were a few men and women hidden in the middle of a store. A mocking smile appeared on Li Changkong's face. The next moment, it was as if he had become an ordinary person who had just faced the descent of zombies. He began frantically tapping on the glass door. Help! 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 Somebody! Help me! Somewhere in the middle of the store, seven or eight people heard the voice and were a little different. They all looked as if they were college students. How about going to save him? You guys listen to how miserable they sound. This time a woman couldn't help but speak up. Save? How can we save them? We're not soldiers, and we haven't undergone any training. How can we save him? We're lucky if we can save our own lives. All we need to do now is wait patiently for the federal rescue, I've just checked the news, only our sunset city has zombies. None of the other cities have appeared, the end times haven't arrived yet. A young man immediately refused. Why ah, uh, why is it our city? A woman wailed and complained. Damn, it must be some guy in the middle of Russian speed city. It's only him. Originally the entire world hadn't seen a zombie in 10 years. Why, he just blew up the city wall and zombies appeared. The young man seemed to have thought of something and suddenly broke into a rage. Bang! Splat! The glass door outside the store. Shattered. Li Chang Kong stepped on top of the broken glass crumbs and slowly walked towards them. Finally, he placed his gaze on the young man. Congratulations, you got it right. It was indeed me who did it, I'm the one who made Sunset City the end of the world. He smiled. As a reward, I'll let you become part of the zombies, right? He paused and looked towards the crowd, a grim smile appearing on his face. The next moment. Densely packed zombies appeared behind him. No, no, no. How is it possible? Aren't you in the middle of Russian Speed City? How could you appear in the middle of our Sunset City? Zombies. So many zombies. It's over. Everyone wailed and cried in terror on the spot, then turned around and ran. But then they realized. The zombies had already completely surrounded the surrounding area. It was completely impossible for them to run out. Let us go. 
Please, we're still a student, didn't do anything. The young man knelt on the ground with a panicked face, constantly begging for mercy. Li Chongkong sniffed, he shook his head, then turned around and left. The zombies, on the other hand, went ahead and devoured everyone. At the same time, the zombies searched the entire mall, all of them, until everyone was turned into zombies. There were really a lot of people in this mall. There were thousands of people. Li Chongkong's zombie army directly increased to 2000. Microwave. The original number one hot search, Diva Spectacular Wedding, had been, shocking. Zombies have appeared in Sunset City. The whole city is about to fall. Had been squeezed out. The following 30 hot searches, without exception, were all topics related to, Sunset City, zombies. Clicking on them. They were able to see a video. In the video, on the street, a zombie pounced on an adult man, and pressed him to the ground to frantically gnaw on him. Slash. Then in less than 5 minutes, the man who had been eaten almost down to his skeleton and covered in blood stood up from the ground again. His eyes were filled with bloodlust, his walking was sluggish, and a hissing sound kept coming out of his mouth. Zombie. This video was 5 minutes long. The video was filled with cries and screams that rose and fell everywhere. The likes of this video had reached a terrifying 50 million at this moment. The retweets had even reached 30 million. The comments had even exceeded 100 million. The heat had almost exploded. Help. I'm in Sunset City. It's full of zombies. My classmates were just eaten. I'm really scared. Why haven't the official peacekeeping forces come to save my life? Yes, hurry up and save lives. Where are the Navy SEALs? Every year we spend so much money to raise these troops, how come by now, they haven't shown up yet? It's probably over. The result of Sunset City now is just like the previous Russian hacking city. I think the officials definitely won't care. They should build a 50 meter high wall again to trap everyone in it. No ah. Uh, don't. I'm in Sunset City, help me, there are zombies outside my house, no one is coming to save me, and there's only instant noodles inside my house. I don't want to eat noodles. No way. Absolutely not. Russian Speed City is just a small city with a population of 1 million. We, Sunset City, have a population of tens of millions. The Federation won't give up on us. Countless comments. The countless people trapped in Sunset City were all on the verge of going crazy. Originally, they were just melon eaters. During the day, they were still looking at the man and woman who came out from inside Russian Speed City and bloating. Who the hell could imagine that? Not even 24 hours had passed. At night, the Sunset City, which was thousands of miles away, had a loss crisis. Within just a few hours, over a million people in Sunset City had become zombies. Today, Sunset City has completely become a human inferno. Countless people died in this holocaust. Their only hope was to expect rescue from the Federation. But, what they were more afraid of was that Sunset City would end up like Russian Speed City. Being surrounded by the 50 meter wall that was built, and then everyone being trapped within it. Completely left to fend for themselves. At that time, how desperate would it be? Back then, they clapped their hands and applauded when the wall was built up in Russian Hacking City. But when this thing really happened to their heads, they couldn't accept it at all again. Federal General Administration. Above the round table. The Federal General Director, Miwad. Jason, with a serious face, looked at each and every well-dressed, solemn and dignified legislator present and said in a deep voice. I believe that everyone here should already know. What has happened in the middle of Sunset City? At this moment, in the middle of Sunset City, it is estimated that at least a million people have been infected with the zombie virus and have become zombies. Next, I hope you can give us a plan, whether to rescue them or not. Or is it like what we did to Russian Speed City back then? Give them two. Jason didn't continue when he said this. Ten years ago, he was the one who advocated for walling off Russian Speed City, allowing everyone inside to fend for themselves. At that time, this move directly gained the support of everyone in the entire Federation. It also allowed him to directly become the chief of the federation. And today, has not been the same. Because he had already stabilized the position of the chief minister, he no longer needed to rely on this tactic to canvas for votes. He wanted to do more political achievements to make himself famous. But this matter is too big for even he to decide alone. So, it was necessary to get, the support of others. This matter, is too big. I think we should investigate as soon as possible, the source of the zombie virus. Russian Speed City has been trapped. It's absolutely impossible for the zombie virus to circulate from within Russian Speed City. Then it must have appeared from the outside world. Our top priority should be to investigate the source of the zombie virus. Once this source cannot be controlled, then, the head of the counselor John, Edward said with a serious face, the zombie virus had to be controlled. Otherwise, it would be a devastating blow to the entire world. They absolutely would not allow such a thing to happen. Let's first order the entire Sunset City to be sealed off. Now that the zombie virus has broken out in Sunset City, 
countless people are fleeing towards the outside. Once they expand out to other cities and bring other cities over to the virus, it will be really bad at that time. Second counselor leader Peter Parkinson, Ike said with a grave expression, since there is one then there is two. I think we should just order that the entire Sunset City be surrounded by building walls the old-fashioned way. All those who want to escape Sunset City should all be shot directly. Otherwise, once it spreads, we won't be able to tell who is infected with the virus and who isn't. It's also very troublesome to check. Counselor number 3 Johnson, Glanford slowly said. Next, it was the other people who were talking and discussing. A moment later, Jason raised his hand and silenced everyone's cacophony. In that case, then let's follow the old method. Let everyone in the Federation take a vote for one hour. Vote on what to do with Sunset City, whether to enclose it with a wall or send the army out to rescue it. At the same time, open a special channel. All those who vote must pay 100 federal coins. Jason's words fell. He paused, then continued. In opening the donation channel, everyone's faces looked better. For them, whether the people inside Sunset City died or not was not important. What mattered was the money in their hands. Could they keep it? And as soon as this decision of Jason appeared, it was guaranteed. Their interests will not be jeopardized. When the time comes, no matter if it's to build the wall or to say that the army will be sent to rescue them, there are the bottom of the Federation people together to give money. What's not to like? Li Chang Kong walked on the streets of Sunset City. Behind him were countless zombies. These zombies filled up the entire street. And, while passing by a building, a neighborhood, they would split out a portion, going door to door to search for the presence of living people. When they come across a door, they directly smash it. When they encounter people, they will directly pounce on them. As Li Chang Kong traveled along, the ranks of zombies had become more and more numerous. By now, the zombie horde under his control had reached as many as half a million. At this moment, he was holding his cell phone in his hand, looking over the topic that was number one on the hot search list above the microwave. A cold smile surfaced on his face, looking at the comments below, then looked at the top-placed federal voting channel. He saw it. Two options. One, send troops into Sunset City to rescue it. Two, build a 50-meter wall for Sunset City. It was the same move as when the zombie virus appeared in Russian Speed City back then. A smirk surfaced on Li Chankong's face. And at this moment, the votes for the first option reached 20 million. And, the votes for the second comment reached, 230 million. The difference was so great, it didn't fail to make Li Chankong once again realize what was the most terrifying human heart in the world. In the end, it's the way of heaven that is good for reincarnation. Who do you see the world bypassing? At one time you all voted to blockade Russian Speed City. And now, it's all coming back to haunt you all again. There is no hurry. I will bring the end times to the entire world with your despair and resentment. Everyone will come to accompany you. Sunset City is merely the first. Li Chang Kong murmured in a low voice, his eyes filled with ice. He then led the zombies once again and began to continue sweeping. In the middle of an upscale office building, inside a spacious office, there were nearly 20 survivors gathered. They looked at the door of the office in fear, listening to the hissing sounds that kept coming from outside the office door, as well as the screams and cries and wails that kept coming from the distance. They all sat on the ground shivering. In the past, they were all senior white-collar workers, able to earn tens of thousands of federal dollars a month without having to do anything, living the life of a human being, surrounded by beautiful women and cars. And now, because of this zombie virus, everything had changed. Hurry up and vote. Make sure the army comes to save us. Otherwise we'll be dead if we stay here. A middle-aged balding man, shouted in a low voice. It's already voted. Shit. Why ah? How come the zombie virus suddenly appeared in the middle of our sunset city? Shouldn't it have appeared in Russian Speed City? The zombie virus hasn't even leaked out in 20 years, so why is it suddenly leaking? What should we do if the Federation deals with us like they dealt with Oakhurst City back then? Are we just going to resign ourselves to our fate? No. The vote has already exceeded 23 billion. We're screwed. We're screwed. Inside the office, other men and women complained, they wailed and cried. They couldn't figure it out. How did it suddenly become like this? And now, the number of votes to get their Sunset City on lockdown had reached 23 billion. It had already exceeded the number of votes to send the Navy SEALs to come to the rescue, a hundred times over. There's no way back. In other words, slash, they're dead. Trying to wait for the Navy SEALs to come to the rescue was simply out of the question. Shit. It can't. They can't do to us what they did to Speed City. I still have all that money. I still have all those cars and women. I can't just die like this. The bald man cursed, then began to make a phone call. Hello, Director Lee? How's it going? Can you come to the rescue? Are we just going to wait for death? 
Directorly, as long as you can find a way to rescue me, I'm willing to give you a hundred million dollars, the balding middle-aged man said respectfully. It's useless. Wait for death. At this fucking time, who the hell wants your money? How fucking funny. Tut tut tut. The phone was hung up. The bald middle-aged man's face changed violently as he gritted his teeth, his eyes filled with anger. He directly threw the phone in his hand onto the ground. Bang. A loud sound was emitted. I know. It must be that beast from Russian Speed City. It must be him who did this, it must be him who caused our Sunset City to become like this. It must be. Otherwise it can't be explained at all. Obviously for 10 years, the zombie virus has never leaked. And it was today, after those two brutes walked out from the middle of Russian Speed City, everything changed. It must be because of the two of them, damn it. Fuck it. Why didn't you just shoot those two at that time? It's a pity that only one little brute was shot, otherwise how would we have ended up in this situation? A man came to a sudden realization, cursing and talking nonsense. Everyone in the room's face changed when they heard this. They all knew that this wasn't true at all. It simply couldn't have happened. Li Chang Kong was still in Russian Hacking City in the morning, but he appeared in Sunset City in the afternoon? There was more than a thousand kilometers between them. Even if there was going to be an outbreak of the zombie virus, it should still be the closest city. Boom. It was at this time. The office door that was blocked by the desk, the cabinet, directly let out a loud bang. Then, the cabinet and the desk directly flew backwards. Bang. The office door directly slammed heavily on the ground. Li Chang Kong slowly walked into the office. Behind him followed dozens of zombies. A faint smile appeared on Li Chang Kong's face as he looked towards the youth who had just cursed and spoken and laughed. There is no problem with your guess. It was indeed me who did it. Sunset City, there will be an outbreak of the zombie virus, it was indeed my doing. As a reward, I'm going to make you a member of the zombies. His words fell. Everyone else hadn't reacted yet. Ben was about to say who the fuck are you, but suddenly remembered E. Wasn't this the same youth who had blown up Russian Speed City in the morning, ran out from the middle of Russian Speed City, and then ran back in? He actually did appear in Sunset City. He had actually brought about the end times. No. Please. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Please. I'll warm your bed. I'll do anything you want me to do. Anything you want. I can give you money. I can give you money. I didn't curse you. Don't kill me. It's all him. It's all him who cursed you. At this moment, these white-collar workers inside the office saw the zombies behind Li Chang Kong, and their faces all changed in unison. One by one, terror and panic surfaced on their faces as they continuously begged. Snap. The bald middle-aged man directly slapped the man's face. The balding middle-aged man, on the spur of the moment, directly went up and slapped. He slapped on the face of the man who had just spoken out against Li Chang Kong. I fucking told you a long time ago. Don't criticize other people's behavior behind their backs. Why can't you control this mouth of yours? I have to get you killed today. The bald middle-aged man said then rushed up and wrestled with the man. Right. It's him. I just heard what he said and felt offended. Blaming everyone else for everything. Kill him. We wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for him. Kill him. Beat him to death. Soon. Everyone rushed up and punched and kicked the man. It didn't take long. The man was directly beaten to death on the ground. Li Chang Kong, on the other hand, watched all of this with interest and did not do anything to stop it. This was human nature. They didn't dare to strike at themselves, but dared to strike at the people around them, wanting to kill this man to abate their anger, thus allowing themselves to bypass their lives. Unfortunately, he, Li Chang Kong, did not want to spare anyone today. My lord, the man who spoke out against you just now has already been killed by us. My lord, from now on I am one of your dogs, if you say east, I will definitely not go west. If you let me kill people, I will definitely not set fire to them. Please don't let the zombies eat me. The bald middle-aged man directly knelt in front of Li Chang Kong and said respectfully. And after he made an example. The others also did so one after another all came and then directly knelt in front of Li Chang Kong. Starting to beg for mercy. Li Chang Kong then shook his head. It's not necessary to be one of my dogs, I don't keep pets, but it's not bad to be my zombie. What you just said, let me go east and not west, these zombies of mine also listen to my words. Li Chang Kong sneered. After his words fell, everyone's face changed. The next moment, the zombies behind Li Chang Kong then hissed in unison. Roar. Hiss and roar. Then they all charged towards the group of senior white-collar workers. No. No. Don't kill me. Please. Ah. Don't bite me. I don't want to die. I can warm your bed. Don't kill me. I'm very good looking. I was the school beauty of our school back then. You shall not die. Ah. It's good that your sister died. You'll soon die along with her. The Federation won't let you go. You can't be arrogant for long. Everyone screamed, hissed, and panicked. 
yet Li Chongkong had already turned around and walked out. It wasn't long. The living people in the office had already been gobbled up by the zombies. There were only a few people whose corpses were still barely relatively intact, able to turn into zombies and then until they stood up crookedly. Along with the zombie army, Li Chongfeng, on the other hand, continued his journey towards the distance. Wherever he passed, it was like a locust transit. Not a single living person could exist. And his zombie army continued to expand. Host, Li Chong Kong. Original Matrix. Strength, First Order. Strength, 10. Speed, 10. System, 10. Spirit, 10. Ability, None. Kill Points, 37,689. Normal Human Data, 1. Evaluation, you seem to be weak right now, but, you might bring a little shock to the world from the original primordial matrix? Night slowly descended. Li Chang Kong was in the middle of a luxurious villa. He opened his attribute panel. After a day of killing, he had gotten more than 30,000 killing points. This meant that a full 30,000 people had died at the hands of the zombies because he had manipulated them. Yes, he was only able to gain kill points if the zombies he manipulated, killed people. Then, Li Chang Kong then opened the exchange mall. Started checking out the items in it. 5,000 kill points for a first order gene potion, 3,000 kill points for random teleportation, 5,000 kill points for targeted teleportation, 2,000 kill points for a nano battle suit. The rewards in the redemption mall were so numerous that one glance simply couldn't see the end. Li Chang Kong limited the price to 30,000 kill points or less. There were more than 120,000 items. Among them, there were even immortal cultivation techniques. However, the cheapest immortal cultivation technique required kill points worth millions. Of course, there were also sci-fi products such as starfighters, and the kill points needed for one of them required a billion. It was simply astronomical. Li Chang Kong finally chose a fixed point teleportation and selected a first order gene potion. Then he chose a first order nutrient solution. With his current physical quality, ordinary human food was no longer able to satisfy his body's consumption. And advanced food, as of now, he hadn't found any. So it was just a matter of redeeming the nutrient liquid. One bottle was worth 100 kill points, and one bottle was able to manage one day's consumption. Li Chang Kong looked at the mauve colored potion in his hand, which was the nutrient solution, and he took a sip. Then he felt his body's fatigue continue to subside. Right now with his strength, his mental power was only able to control up to a hundred zombies. Scattered control of zombies was able to reach a thousand. And he had an army of half a million zombies. Most of them were moving because of the thousand zombies wrapped around him. Li Chang Kong couldn't control it at all. And if he wanted to raise the number of zombies he controlled, he had to become stronger. The gene potion in the exchange mall was a very good means to become stronger. After Li Chang Kong drank the nutrient solution, he felt that his body's exhaustion was all relieved. Then he took out the gene potion. It was a bottle of potion that appeared in a light green color, and a single one was able to completely transform one's body. He drank it in one gulp. The next moment, he then felt a warm current emerge throughout his body. It didn't take long. Endless pains surged through his body. These pains were even more exaggerated than the very beginning when his body was transformed by the original virus. Veins rippled on his forehead, and even more cold sweat continuously flowed out. The muscles in his body also tightened up at this moment. He felt unprecedented pain. However, he was still able to hold on. Over the past 10 years, his heart had already been toughened to the extreme. It was also cold to the extreme. If it wasn't for Li Changjing, he would have already fallen into the devil's path and become a demon who killed without blinking an eye and ate human flesh and drank human blood. But, now Li Changwei was dead. Dead at the hands of that self-proclaimed civilized world. His heart had long since lost the slightest bit of goodness, and there was only darkness and destruction. He wanted to completely plunge this world into an apocalypse. I don't know how much time has passed. His body. It was finally completely remodeled. Sunset City. Inside a rented house. A young woman with a delicate figure and pretty looks was hiding in her home, shivering. It's already the end of the world outside. The entire Sunset City has become a hell on earth. There were man-eating zombies and dead people everywhere. She was completely trapped in her home and couldn't get out. At this moment, she could only pray that the Federation had not given up on their Sunset City and could send the Navy SEALs to rescue them. Otherwise, then she would really only be able to wait for death. However, looking at the discussions as well as votes on the internet, her heart was half cold as well. She knew that Sunset City would more than likely become the Russian speed city of the past. Thinking about this, a wave of despair went through her. She didn't know where she should go in the future. She had managed to get into Sunset City from a small mountain village with great difficulty, and with her ability as well as her outstanding looks, she was about to realize a change in her destiny. Who could have thought that? Overnight, all the efforts that had been made had gone down the drain. Bang bang bang. 
It was at this time that the door to her home was knocked on. Who? Who is it? The woman shouted. Awa, it's me. A man's voice came from outside. Hearing a familiar man's voice, the woman's just raised guard slowly slackened. The visitor was her neighbor. The two had known each other for half a year already. On weekdays, they were relatively good friends. However, she also knew that this neighbor had some interest in her, but she never paid any attention to it, because she clearly understood what her future was going to be like. She knew what kind of life she wanted to live. That man could not support himself. She was not going to live a poor life with the other person. So it's, Kong, what's wrong with you? Is something wrong? The woman asked as she didn't open the door. Ewa, I think it's all zombies out there now. I have some food at home and thought to bring it over to you. A Kong's voice rang out. Ewa couldn't help but feel a little touched inside. At this point in time, the other party was still able to think of himself. It seemed to be true love. Unfortunately, the other party was still a little too poor. Although his looks are not bad. But good looks couldn't be exchanged for a luxury car or mansion. She shook her head. Then opened the door. Creaking. The gate was slowly opened. Standing outside the door was a young man who was one meter eight in height, with a strong body and a clean-cut appearance. Awa looked at the man's empty hands. A flash of doubt surfaced in his eyes. However the next moment, A Kong then directly pushed the other party inside, then directly closed the door. Then holding Awa in his arms, he headed towards the bedroom. What are you going to do? Ahua's face changed violently, not thinking that the usually honest man would dare to do such a thing. Do what? Make love. Akong sneered. Then he directly threw Ahua on the bed. Then he perched himself forward. You stay away. Ah. Help. The federal army won't let you go. The police won't let you go. I want to call the police. Awa struggled and cried. Slap. What responded to her was a slap. The slap went straight to her face. It knocked her entire body into a daze. Federal army? Police? Akon sneered. It's the end of days now. The entire Sunset City is now a hell on earth. There are zombies everywhere. A flash of despair surfaced in his eyes. Did you see the poll on the internet? They want us to be trapped and die in the middle of Sunset City. You still think someone will come to save you? Bullshit. Don't even think about it. Be a good boy and obey me. I'll be in a good mood and might even be able to protect you a bit. Otherwise, I'll have you first. Rape and then. Kill. A Kong sneered. Normally this woman was all high and mighty, accepting all of his love for him, but, once the other party was to be made to give an accountable reply, then it began to perfunctorily push and yell. He had thought that it would never be possible to have skin-to-skin -skin contact with Ava. However, this apocalypse, this zombie virus, completely changed everything. He was also able to have a kiss for his former goddess. Awa stared wide-eyed, listening to what the other party said. She realized, it was as if she hadn't recognized the other party until now. In the past, that gentleman, all the behavior of everything is to the point, for their own is also dear. For the woman is also respect to the extreme man. It was as if the other party had acted it out. This point made her fear to the extreme. But what the other party said was also true. As it stood, it seemed as if they were completely abandoned. From the moment the voting results came out, the entire Sunset City was gripped by a wave of despair. They knew that there wouldn't be an army, there wouldn't be a special force to save them. They would be besieged with the entire Sunset City until death. Despair, a life without any hope. It's a glimpse of no end in sight. And that, will turn everyone, back into beasts. The terrifying pressure, almost crushing everyone's minds. They want to vent this pressure. One would have to find the release point. And the people who used to be high and mighty, at this moment, became the objects for them to release their pressure. Such things also happened in every corner of Sunset City. The money, power, and status of the past were all null and void at this moment. Only strength. Only strength can occupy a place of its own in this chaotic sunset city. Li Chang Kong walked on the road. He checked his attribute panel. Host, Li Chang Kong. Original Matrix. Strength, First Order. Strength, 20. Speed, 20. System, 20. Spirit, 20. Ability, None. Kill points, 10,980. Normal human data is 1. Evaluation, Don't be proud. Although your strength is far beyond that of a normal person, you are still in crisis in this world, you have to keep a low profile, but you can try to give the world a little shock with your virus? A glint flashed in Li Chang Kong's eyes. He felt the endless power coming from within his body. He felt that at this moment, he was able to easily destroy an armed team of a hundred people, as long as they weren't set on fire, or hit by a massive bomb. Basically, he would not die. His strength had already surpassed humans by far too much, and his strength had reached the peak of the first rank. One step further would be the second rank. Explaining with his system, when he reached the second rank, 
he should be born with a unique ability that belonged to him. At that time, his strength would go even further. Right now, the zombies I'm able to precisely control should have reached around a thousand. That's not enough. Li Chongkong shook his head. He was still relatively weak right now. The system had already informed him that his current virus was not the same as the zombie virus in the middle of Russian speed city before. Essentially, the zombie virus was a process that allowed the world to evolve. And turning into a zombie was because, the human genes couldn't withstand the evolution brought about by the zombie virus, thus leading to the collapse of the physical body's genes. And this state of Li Chinkong's was a perfect fit for the fusion of the zombie virus. Theoretically, if the base is large enough, then it was entirely possible that this kind of character similar to Li Chinkong's existence would be produced. Only, they wouldn't be able to harness the zombies, nor would they become Li Chinkong. But, they would possess psychic abilities. Li Chinkong's original virus nowadays brought with it an evolutionary power that was a hundred times greater than the evolutionary power of the zombie virus in the middle of Russian speed city. A thousand times. That was why it was able to give people this ability. But the prerequisite is that one must be able to carry the zombie virus. The probability of this would be very, very low. It's probably only about 1 in 10,000 or so. If we go by this base, the entire Sunset City would give birth to almost a thousand supernaturals. This was still a force to be reckoned with. Similarly, the zombies devouring these superpowers will also enable themselves to evolve and break through quickly. As for the superpowers, when they kill a zombie and get the crystal core in the zombie's head, they can also borrow the energy in it to devour it and enhance their superpowers. At the same time, Li Chang Kong intended to create a group of his own real zombie special forces, because, the zombies infected with his blood would retain their original memories and emotions, and would be equivalent to obtaining evolution in its entirety, only to become zombies. They will also gain some superpowers, but they would be completely loyal to Li Chang Kong. Therefore, Li Chang Kong planned to create a batch of such troops out, for himself to drive. The current Sunset City should not have such people for the time being, and he didn't know much about Sunset City. Waiting for. The Federation gave Sunset City up completely. At that time, after despair completely enveloped Sunset City. Only then would the evil of mankind be unleashed continuously. It was only at that time that the paradise belonged to Li Chang Kong. Only then would Li Chang Kong be able to properly select more men in it. However, before that, he planned to continue driving the zombies to devour the living. Constantly expanding his zombie army. Sunset City. Police Station. At this moment, this was probably the only place in the entire Sunset City that could still maintain its ability to not fall into chaos. What did the people above say? Director? In the middle of the conference room, the agents asked the director with an expectant look on their faces. The director, a middle-aged man, looked at the crowd and was silent for a moment before slowly saying, As of now, there hasn't been any feedback from above yet. We need to find a way to save ourselves. The agents all fell silent at the words. No response was the greatest response meaning that they might actually have been given up on. No way. We can't just sit here and wait for death. We must escape. Escape from Sunset City. The Federation's top brass will surely seal us in this huge cage. We've dedicated our lives to the Federation, we don't deserve this. A young agent, rising up, shouted in indignation. I know that too. But now all the roads outside Sunset City have been sealed off. Outside of Sunset City, there is still an army station there, and all those who try to escape will be shot indiscriminately. With this equipment of ours, trying to escape is impossible. Another agent, with a bitter face, said in a low tone. Between his eyebrows, it was already all despair. Fight them. Staying in Sunset City, we are only getting closer to death. Waiting for the Federation's rescue is already an unrealistic dream. After what happened to Russian Hacking City 10 years ago, everyone understands what Russian Hacking City is like now. With the passage of time, our Sunset City will also turn into Russian Horror City, all of us. All of us will die. An older agent slapped the table and got up to roar. Enough! Director Zhang Tianji, who had been silent all this time, spoke in a deep voice at this time. Wei, let's grab a high ground first. The Nine Dragons Hotel is the largest building monolith in our Sunset City. It is also the most luxurious hotel. His decorations and defenses are top-notch capable of resisting a magnitude 9 earthquake. We only need to prepare enough food to enter it, at least for a short period of time, we won't have any risks. Zhang Tianji slowly said. No way! Entering the Nine Dragons Hotel is tantamount to chronic death. We'll only be able to watch, as Sunset City is walled up. We can only watch as death gets closer and closer to us. And we can do nothing to resist. An agent rose to object. What do you want to do then? Is it to rush out, right now, and die under the guns of the troops stationed outside? Or do you want to live and let live, and live one day at a time? Zhang Tianji roared angrily. No. 
We have done so much for the Federation. We shouldn't be given up like this. How could this happen? Whoa whoa. Some of the agents with poorer mental qualities had completely broken down and cried out at this moment. The entire conference room fell into silence. The atmosphere of despair enveloped everyone's hearts. Although the end was just beginning now, but with the previous experience of Russian Speed City, they all understood. They had no future. What awaited them was only death. They can only be trapped in this huge cage until they are eaten by the zombies. At this moment, the door to the conference room was pushed open. The door of the conference room was pushed open. Who? Zhang Tianji directly raised his gun and turned his head, aiming at the man who walked in. It was a handsome man wearing a black trench coat with fair skin and only one right hand, looking full of evil aura. You? You're the youth in the middle of Russian hacking city? When Zhang Tianji saw Li Changkong, his eyes widened, his eyes filled with shock. He had watched that live broadcast this morning. Li Changkong's photo had even appeared in the major media reports. And the most obvious sign of Li Changkong was that he did not have a left arm. When Li Changkong heard this, an odd smile appeared on his face. He nodded his head. Not bad it's me. He slowly laughed. The spread of the zombie virus in the middle of Sunset City was done by you? Zhang Tianji sniffed and immediately questioned. Not bad. Li Changkong nodded. How about that? Watching yourself being abandoned by the Federation, is it particularly desperate now? Sunset City will soon be surrounded by a wall as high as 50 meters. Everyone will be trapped here, unable to get out for eternity. Desperate? After Li Chinkong's words fell, the entire conference room was plunged into a dead silence. At this moment, even if they resented Li Chinkong for bringing this to them. However, it was the Federation that caused all of this. The Federation blocked them from going out. That was what brought them to their deaths, and the reason they didn't take action against Li Chinkong. It was simple. Because they saw the zombie figure behind Li Chinkong. This man in front of them was able to manipulate the zombies. It was simply unbelievable. You came here. You wouldn't just want to say this kind of thing, right? Zhang Tianji's voice was a bit hoarse, and only after a long time did he slowly speak. Originally, I wanted to let this group of zombies behind me devour all of you. Li Changkong responded. After his words fell, everyone's faces changed violently at his words. However, right now, submit to me, and I can let you all be in the midst of this post-apocalyptic world. Live better. Li Changkong said here, and a smile appeared on his face. After his words fell, everyone fell into silence. For his part, Zhang Tianji's eyes were filled with contemplation. It was unknown how he was thinking inside. In fact, Li Changkong wanted to take all of them and simply because. He was completely unfamiliar with this city. A modernized city with tall buildings towering over it was too big. There were also too many places to hide people. He needed a group of beloved henchmen to find these people out. Otherwise, these living people would be like rats. Hiding in the gutter all the time, there's no way to kill them all. It's like the original Russian speed city. Ten years after the end of the world, there are still people alive to this day. I'm willing. Zhang Tianji spoke at this time. As long as you can let me live, I am willing to submit to you. Be your dog, he said directly. In fact, their group of people did not have the ability to refuse at all. Li Changkong was able to control the zombies, and the group of zombies behind him were all still able to hold steady in the face of their group of living people. This was the best evidence of Zhua, and there is no doubt. As long as they rejected each other then what awaited them would definitely be death. So naturally, he would not choose to reject Li Changkong. A mole cricket is still stealing life, let alone a human being. What about you guys? Li Changkong placed his gaze on the others. When the others heard this, they also hastily chose to submit. I am willing. Follow you. Back then, when Russian hacking city was blockaded, I had spoken against it, but I was so insignificant that I was of no use at all. For the Federation to do this, it completely disregards our lives and deaths. There's simply no reason for such a federation to continue to exist. I am willing. The others were also very knowledgeable. Those who were still able to become detectives in such a corrupt federation, if they didn't know a little bit about the world and what it meant to know the times, probably would have been eliminated long ago. Li Changkong smiled at his words. Then he took out a bottle of blood that he had prepared long ago. He handed it to Zhang Tianji. All of you take one drop. Li Changkong said with a smile. Good. Zhang Tianji felt a tingle in his scalp as he took the item in his hand. Even if Li Changkong didn't say it, he knew. This was definitely not something good. But at least it wouldn't kill them. That didn't mean he wanted to drink this stuff either. But there was no way. He was completely incapable of resisting. Even if all of them put together, they weren't enough to beat up the zombies behind Li Changkong. Zhang Tianji gently dipped his finger and then put it in his mouth. Everyone else did the same. A moment later, Zhang Tianji then began to hiss. 
It was only seen that his skin was turning into a waxy white color at a speed that was visible to the naked eye, and his skin became more delicate, a scarlet bloodshot aura appeared in his eyes, and all over his body, a splintering and popping sound was coming out, and it was the same for the others as well. At this moment, Zhang Tianji only felt a sharp pain coming from all over his body. This pain almost drove him crazy. He felt as if his bones had been completely crushed and reassembled. You, what did you give me? Zhang Tianji looked at Li Changkong with a horrified face and said in a broken voice. My blood. Li Changkong said indifferently. Blood that can turn you into zombies. When Zhang Tianji heard this, he instantly stared with wide eyes, his eyes were filled with horror, and even more shocking waves were set off within his heart at this moment. He was actually going to be turned into a zombie? How could this be? He was a living person. He didn't want to be turned into a zombie. A few moments later, this part of his transformation ended completely. He slowly got up, but the shock in his eyes hadn't disappeared. Why, did I not lose my sanity? Master? Zhang Tianqi said with a respectful face, not knowing why. When he looked at Li Changkong in front of him, he did not have any inner thoughts of wanting to rebel against the other party. He felt a kind of submission as if it came from the depths of his bloodline. The zombie virus is essentially a life evolution. It allows humans to speed up their evolution, and if they succeed, they will become an existence like you, and if they fail, they will become zombies. Li Changkong said indifferently. My blood can help others complete their evolution without worrying about zombification. But after this, the other party will completely submit to me. Now relying on this bloodline suppression, he had completely subjugated Zhang Tianji. He naturally didn't need to root for the other party to hide anymore. Of course, he would say whatever he had to say. I see. Many thanks to Master for allowing me to complete the evolution of my life. Zhang Tianji said with a respectful face as he sniffed. He had never felt that his body could still be so healthy. He was in his forties this year, and had all but become a middle-aged man with a big belly. However at this moment, the belly was also gone, and the entire person had become younger. Even the strength was several times that of before. Thinking about it like this, it seemed that he hadn't lost anything by becoming a zombie. Instead, there were also very many benefits. Many thanks, master. Let us complete the evolution of our lives. Thank you, master. So it is. The others sniffed and then realized. If that was the case, then turning into a zombie didn't seem to be impossible. At least, they had all become stronger. It didn't seem like they could be considered an ordinary person now, right? Li Chang Kong sniffed and a wry smile appeared on his face. After turning into zombies, ordinary food won't be able to satisfy your requirements for nourishment. Although you guys are conscious, your bloodthirsty instincts cannot be suppressed. At the same time you guys want to become stronger, you also need to go and devour more. Humans. This means that you guys have to eat humans. Sunset City. The passageway from the outside world was a deep tunnel, and beyond the tunnel was the highway. At this moment, it was already jammed with cars. Countless people directly abandoned their cars and fled, dashing wildly towards the distance. It was a full 200 kilometers from the next city, Blackwater City. No one had thought about how to run there, but no one wanted to stay in Sunset City. Run away. Run away quickly. The entire Sunset City has fallen. The Federation won't care about us anymore. They're going to deal with us like they did with Russian hacking city in the first place. All of us are going to die here. We must flee. Run away. Staying in Sunset City is only death. If we escape, we may still have a chance of survival. Hurry up. Hurry up. Mom. Mom. Whoa whoa. Whoa whoa. Little brother hurry up and follow me. Brother I can't run anymore. I really can't. Faster. We're almost out of Sunset City. As long as we run out of this tunnel, we're out of here. Faster. Faster. Footsteps. The sound of footsteps resounded through the clouds. What a spectacular scene was this. Looking down from the dome of the sky, one was able to see that it was black everywhere, all packed with people. All of them converged into a black torrent that looked to stretch endlessly. The group of people leading the way finally ran out of the tunnel. However, the next moment, they froze. Because outside was a group of heavily armed federal troops. They were holding blast shields and mounting machine guns, stationed here like statues, and exuding a murderous intent all over their bodies. We are alive. Let us pass. Please. Yes, we're living people, real living people, we're not infected with the zombie virus. Let us through. What are you stopping us for? Let us go. Why are you blocking our way? We're about to get out, we're not carrying the zombie virus. Please let us go. Countless people cried out. And at this time, the federal army split a passage from it, and everyone was excited, thinking it was passable. However, a white colonel came out from it. His face was cold, and between his eyebrows, he was filled with a stern aura, as he coldly looked at the crowd in front of him, which was densely packed and amounted to more than 100,000 people. There was no emotional fluctuation in his eyes. He said in a cold voice, 
Go back. His words fell. The group of people in the lead directly exploded. After running here with great difficulty, they were going to be told to go back? What kind of joke is that? Why? A middle-aged man opened his mouth to question. We are not able to tell if you are carrying the zombie virus. You guys aren't really able to prove it either. So, go back. Otherwise, our army will shoot. The white colonel said in a cold voice. Jack, sir. I'm Li Wei Ah, let me through. We had dinner together last month. I have a bank card here. There is a hundred million dollars in the card. As long as you let me through, this hundred million dollars will be yours. At this time a middle-aged man came out from amongst the crowd. He smiled respectfully and fawningly, then took out a bank card from his pocket. Go back. Colonel Jack just said coldly. Colonel Jack. It's me. Li Wei Ah. Don't you remember me? Li Wei smiled and walked over. However, what responded to him was a gunshot. Bang. His entire person was directly shot in the head. Colonel Jack's face did not change in the slightest when he saw the scene. This is what happens to those who try to break in. All of you, you are not allowed to leave Sunset City. He paused and continued. No. On what grounds? We are living people. I'm not carrying the zombie virus. On what grounds? Why don't you let us leave Sunset City? You can't treat us the way you treated Oakhurst City. There's only 3 million people in Russia's Speed City, while there are tens of millions of people in Sunset City. You can't do this. How can you all endure this? There are tens of millions of us. Do you want tens of millions of us to die in Sunset City? No way. My father is the governor. My dad is the governor. Let me out. I'm not carrying the zombie virus. Let me out. We just want to live. What's wrong with us? My daughter is only three years old. Let him live. She's not infected with the zombie virus. Countless people hissed, shouted, cried, and begged for mercy. At this moment, their group of people finally understood. When the three million people in Russian Speed City, abandoned by the Federation because of the outbreak of the zombie virus, building out the wall, not a single one of the three million people escaped from the middle of the city. Just how desperate they were. In the beginning, if they had been able to say a word for the people of Russian Speed City, perhaps today, it wouldn't be like this. In the beginning, if they had voted in favor of letting the army strike, then today, perhaps more people would have voted to let the army strike. They wouldn't be stuck here, waiting to die. Pity. Where were the ifs in this world? In the past, they hadn't responded to Russian Speed City's call for help, and in this world today, there still wouldn't be anyone else who would respond to Sunset City's call for help. This is human nature. This was human inertia. The cries resounded through the heavens and earth. However, the Federal Army is not moving, Colonel Jack's cold face is not any expression of turmoil. At this time, there is a middle-aged man holding a three or four-year-old child in his arms, trying to sneak underneath the military vehicle, and then muddle through. And just at this time, bang, a gunshot rang out. That middle-aged man's entire body was directly shot in the head. Bang, another shot rang out. The small child in the middle-aged man's arms was also directly killed. This action, it directly made all of the hundred thousand or so people present go crazy over it. I want to expose your evil deeds. You guys can't be like this. That's still a three or four year old child. How can you guys be like this? I'll report you. You're killing people. You're killing people. How could the Federation create such scum like you? Go over there. Charge. Brothers. If we go back to Sunset City, what awaits us will be death. Countless zombies will devour us. And the only way to survive now is to charge through. Hurry up and charge. We'll be able to survive if we charge through. Don't. Don't. You're really going to shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. We're really alive. We're not infected with the zombie virus. We don't have zombies. We're really just want to live. Countless people cried out, shouted, and hissed. The next moment, everyone was all agitated. They knew. As long as they went back, then all that awaited them was death. And if they rushed forward, there might still be a chance of survival. Boom. The power of a single person is limited. Not capable of making a single wave. However, when more than a hundred thousand people, like a tidal wave, came spreading towards you, this power, this momentum, enough to make anyone crumble, even if they were veterans. At this moment, when the Federal Army saw the scene, each and every one of them were a bit at a loss, not knowing what to do. They were all living people. Is it hard to ask them to raise the guns in their hands and kill all of these living people? This was a little too inhumane. However, Colonel Jack's face was untouched by all of this. He was just like an AI robot, as if he was devoid of any emotions and feelings. He turned his head to look at the soldiers behind him and roared. Shoot. Give me this group of thugs. Kill them all. After his words fell, directly pulled out a pistol from his pocket. Aiming at the front was a shot. Bang. 
The sound of the gunshot at this moment, amidst the shouts and hisses of more than a hundred thousand people, all seemed incomparably small. And it was also this gunshot. It completely galvanized these soldiers. Ta da day. One soldier directly pulled the trigger in his hand. The bullets were like a torrent, tilting out crazily. And with him joining in, all the soldiers behind him all began to pull the triggers in their hands. Da day day day. Bang. 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 A sound of gunfire. And those people fell to the ground one after another. Fell in a pool of blood. Countless people died directly under round after round of gunfire. However, the people at the back seemed as if they didn't notice the scene. They were still frantically charging forward as if they didn't want to die. Da day day day. The silver dragon was still gulping down bullets. One after another living person fell to the ground, completely closing their eyes, and they were only 10 meters away from the pass. These 10 meters, if placed in normal times, they might only need 2 seconds at most, would be able to cross over. However, right now, this 10 meters was a gap that they would never be able to cross in their lifetime. Not a single person on the side of the Federal Army spoke. They were all red-eyed, frantically pulling the triggers, constantly replacing the bullets. I don't know how much time passed. Perhaps it was an hour. Or perhaps it was five hours. Or perhaps it was a day and a night. Silence. Completely quiet. The whole tunnel was silent. There were no more words from anyone. The blood on the ground had already turned into a canal, and the soldiers' feet were covered in blood. And in front of them, it was densely packed with countless corpses. Those corpses, full of limbs, had been shattered by countless bullets. Scarlet blood was everywhere. The image of blood and flesh flying across the sky came into view. The rushing bloody odor surged into their nostrils. Just now, they hadn't felt it. However, by now, once they relaxed, everyone was instantly horrified. Vomit. A soldier directly vomited all over the ground. His eyes were filled with shock and panic. What did I do? What did I do? I, ah, how did I transform into a demon? I can't believe I killed so many people. A soldier yelled out in terror. Then he raised the gun in his hand and shot himself in the head. Bang. He chose to end his life full of sins. Colonel Jack watched everything slamming in front of him, and there was some movement on his face. There was also some discomfort in his heart. He was a human being. He was not a robot. Much less an AI. Seeing so many corpses, seeing so many people die because of his orders. He also had some bad feelings. Only, if they didn't die, then the one who died would be him. If that was the case, he would rather let all of these people die. He's not a saint. He was just obeying the orders of the people above him, and a soldier's duty was to obey orders. Sir, we, why are we, why are we doing this? Aren't they living people? Why don't we let them go? I, some of the soldiers looked at Colonel Jack with complicated faces and inquired. Jack turned his head at this time, looked at the crowd in front of him, and slowly said, Soldiers, you have just accomplished a feat. You have killed over 100,000 zombies with your own strength. Isn't this a deed worthy of praise? When we get back, I'll ask for credit from above for you, and by then you'll all be colonels. Major. Jack spoke in an impassioned tone, with an excited face. His words, as if they carried some sort of magic. The other soldiers were looking at the corpses in front of them. Although their faces were still complicated, they seemed to be vaguely excited inside. They were about to be promoted. Right. Colonel Jack was right. The ones they killed were all zombies ah. They were the ones who hindered more than 100,000 zombies from rushing towards other cities, they were heroes. They're the heroes who saved this world. Colonel Jack, you are right. These dead are all walkers. We are all heroes. A soldier cheered. The inner desire, the surprise of the impending war credit, still washed away the guilt inside. After all, if one was truly afraid, then there would have been no shooting just now. These people wouldn't have died. Since they chose to go out and shoot, then they had already made these mental preparations. It was only possible that there were a few people who, inwardly, were still a bit unable to accept it for a while. But it's hard not to think that when they just shot, they were demons, and now that they've put away their guns, they think of themselves as holy angels? To treat these things as if they had never been done? How is this possible? Since you've chosen to do it, you'll have to go all the way. At least let these hundred thousand people die with meaning. Ha ha ha. What's your name? Soldier? Colonel Jack looked at this soldier in front of him with relief and said with a smile. In the beginning it was also this soldier who was the first to correspond to himself. The first to pull the trigger in his hand. The first to fire. Colonel. My name is, Edward. Johansson. The soldier said with an excited look on his face. Good. Edward. Johansson. I remember that name. You've done well. I believe that when you go back, you'll all be able to be at least a major. Colonel Jack patted his shoulder with a pleased face. Then he placed his gaze on the other soldiers. And at this time. The other soldiers also began to cheer. 
Grateful to Colonel Jack for leading us in organizing an onslaught raid of over 100,000 zombies. Grateful to Colonel Jack, leading us to save the world. In the middle of hell, no one is crying. Full of demons cheering, outside the tunnel. Li Chang Kong stood hundreds of meters away with Zheng Tianji and the others, quietly watching all this happening in the distance. A smirk surfaced on his face. See, this is what happened in Russian hacking city 10 years ago. Fully hundreds of thousands of people rushed together, yet they all died under the guns of these people. Treated like zombies, died under the guns of these people. Li Chang Kong murmured in a low voice. Zheng Tianji and the other zombies sniffed, and their faces became ugly to the extreme. They had only just transformed into zombies. For now, it was still treating themselves as into humans. The concept of roles hadn't shifted so quickly. In the tunnel, what that group of soldiers had done, it really made them feel displeased. Anger. However, more than anything else, they felt a sense of panic. They knew. It was impossible for the Federal Army to let them rush out. There was a high probability that they would be expelled back to Sunset City. It would probably kill a few people who led the way. However, he hadn't even dreamed of it. This group of people would actually kill everyone. That was over a hundred thousand people. Even if it was over a hundred thousand dogs and pigs that were massacred in front of a human being, one would still feel chilled and gutted. Not to mention people. Let's go. Li Chang Kong said indifferently, then walked slowly towards the front. Master, what are we going to do? Zhang Tianji said doubtfully. Of course it's to kill people. There are more than a hundred thousand human corpses in the tunnel. You guys are zombies now, zombies naturally eat people, otherwise why are they called zombies? Li Chang Kong said indifferently. He was able to sense it. Zhang Tianji and the other zombies were currently still putting their thought patterns in a human state. They had not yet turned into zombies. So, he was now going to properly make Zhang Tianji and the others completely turn into zombies. Zhang Tianji and the others were all infected by their own primordial virus. They were all very powerful. If they were divided according to rank, then they are all at least first order zombies now. Their strength is ten times that of an ordinary person. And they don't have any sense of pain. As long as they have enough blood to eat, their bodies are able to constantly recover from their injuries. It can be said that their strength is very perverse. There are only a thousand soldiers in that tunnel. It's possible to kill them all. Just be prepared. Us? Going to kill this group of soldiers? Can we do that? Zhang Tianji froze when he heard this, with some incredulity on his face. In his opinion, although he had become stronger, but these soldiers were heavily armed. The strength was very powerful. Wanting to kill all of this group of soldiers was a little too difficult, wasn't it? Although he also wanted to kill this group of soldiers. After all, what the other party had just done was just too infuriating for them. He he, how can we know unless we try? Li Chang Kong laughed. So a group of 23 zombies. Then they lurked and quietly ran towards the tunnel. And at this time, in the middle of the tunnel, Colonel Jack and the other soldiers were still in the joy of having just gained the battle. They didn't even realize that the danger had arrived. Even, they felt that the smell of blood in the tunnel was just a little too strong. So they all walked out of the tunnel, came to the highway above. And this tunnel was deep and dark, standing outside, it was impossible to see what exactly was inside. Li Chang Kong then quietly led Zhang Tianji and other zombies, lurking in this tunnel, then quietly ran out. Li Chang Kong was now a peak first stage zombie. The physical quality was 20 times that of an ordinary person. 100 meters only needed 0.5 seconds to be able to rush through. The speed was fast to the extreme. In an instant, he appeared amongst the soldiers. Then he slammed his fist towards a soldier. Bang! The soldier was wearing a steel helmet on his head, yet he was still smashed by this punch, which directly smashed his helmet and even his head. Enemy attack! Enemy attack! Bang! A soldier had just shouted out. He was then smashed in the heart by Zhang Tianji who rushed over together. Then the entire person was directly killed. It was only a mere 23 zombie troops. However, with their strength and reflexes that surpassed normal people, they instantly killed over a hundred soldiers. And at this time the other soldiers all reacted. They raised the guns in their hands one after another and fired away at Li Chang Kong and the others. However, their speed was still too slow. The moment they had just raised their guns, Li Chang Kong and the others directly scattered, disappearing in front of their eyes. Their speed was simply too fast. Ordinary people's eyes simply couldn't catch the trajectory of their movements, especially at such a close distance die. Li Chang Kong roared in his heart. With one punch, he smashed a soldier's flesh straight through. He had lived in the middle of Russian hacking city for 10 years. He had long since practiced a killing and decisive character. However even so, he could never do it. The massacre of over a hundred thousand ordinary people. However, this group of soldiers did it without any psychological burden. Compared to them, he, Li Chang Kong, 
could barely even be considered a human being, although he was no longer able to be considered a human being now, and the one who caused all this, it wasn't him, it was the Federation, it's the Federation's corruption, it's the Federation's incompetence, it's the selfishness of the Federation, it's the selfishness of human nature, in all this, the fault is not his, the fault was the entire world, Li Chang Kong's speed was extremely fast, bang, a gunshot rang out, Li Chang Kong dodged in an instant, then with one punch, he killed a soldier in front of him, ah, die, devil, devil, kill her, monster, monster, the zombie must be, zombie, the surrounding soldiers all cried out in shock at this scene, their eyes filled with terror and their hearts were filled with endless despair, the enemy was simply too strong, they didn't even know until now, what exactly the enemy looked like, however, they had already died three to four hundred soldiers alone, so facing death, was that what it felt like? He was only able to watch as death continued to come towards him, and they couldn't do anything to react. They couldn't put up any resistance. Put. Zhang Tianji directly tore apart one of the soldiers in front of him. Blood spilled over his body, his eyes red, his eyes filled with bloodthirsty instincts. He felt like a soul was emerging within his body. The soul was urging him to eat everyone in front of him. Eat everything in front of him. He didn't know why he had become like this. He only knew that he didn't want to be like this. He still wanted to be a human being. However, this world seemed to have no place for him anymore. He completely lost consciousness. When he regained consciousness again, he froze. The ground was full of corpses. The ground was full of dead soldiers. His and the others' bodies were covered in blood. He was even clutching a piece of flesh and blood in his hands. He took two steps backwards with a horrified look on his face. I, how could I? Zhang Tianji's eyes were filled with panic. He felt the bloody flavor in his mouth. There was no doubt that he had just eaten someone. He felt a wave of revulsion within him. However, a sense of comfort came from his body. It was constantly telling him just how delicious everything just was. He turned his head to look at the rest of the group. At this moment, there were several other people who had been his men before, who were crouching on the ground, clutching a piece of limb and gnawing hard. And the other party's eyes were filled with bloodlust and madness. There was no semblance of sanity to speak of. Seeing this scene, Zhang Tianji rushed over. With a kick, he sent the other party flying. Bang! The man hit a piece of stone paper heavily, and the entire person regained his senses. Director! What are you doing? He angrily got up and roared. What have you done? Zhang Tianji grabbed his collar and roared angrily. What have I done? The man sniffed and a complexity appeared on his face before he remembered what he had just done. Point one. His face turned pale all of a sudden. I, I ate someone? I cannibalized? His eyes widened, his eyes filled with horror as he muttered in a low voice. Killing people, perhaps he could accept it. But cannibalism, this kind of thing, he could never accept. Chief, you actually shouldn't be blaming yourself so much. These people we killed can no longer be called people. They've only killed over a hundred thousand people. We're doing the people a favor. And cannibalism, things have come to this point. We can no longer be considered people. We are zombies. Isn't it natural for zombies to eat people? It's as if we used to eat pigs, cows, and sheep when we were still human. A youth walked over at this time, shrugged his shoulders, and said with a light smile. Shut up. We are human beings. We are not zombies. Zhang Tianji roared angrily. Chief, you shouldn't blame yourself. Nowadays we are no longer human. We are zombies. Following our master, we are going to dominate the world. But it's just cannibalism. There will be a first time for everything again, and we'll naturally get used to it in the future. Another youth walked over and said with a smile. Zhang Tianji shook his head, opened his mouth, and did not speak. Chief, you think you are a human being, but how can a human being eat a human being? You think you're human, but if we walk in the middle of Sunset City and walk outside, do you think there will be other people who will recognize us? Except the reality. This world, the human world, no longer has a place for us. Might as well, you saw how this group of soldiers treated these people just now. Not to mention us zombies. I think that we can totally follow our master and create a world that only belongs to the zombies, so that this world can be reshuffled. Reshuffle the landscape. A woman walked over and spoke with an excited face. Zhang Tianji shook his head. The expression was a bit despondent. At this time, Li Chang Kong carried Colonel Jack in his hand, walked over with a cold face, looked at Zhang Tianji, and faintly said, If you want to die, you can treat yourself as if you were still a human being. I don't have a problem with that. It is as they say, there is no place for you in this world anymore. People in the outside world are capable of killing even when faced with a living person, let alone you. As Li Chang Kong said this, a crazy smile appeared on his face. At this moment, Zhang Tianji's expression had already revealed just how desperate he was within his heart. Ha ha ha, just as he did before? 
he had lost his most cherished Li Changsha, and Zhang Tianji, on the other hand, had lost the most cherished personality? Master, Zhang Tianji turned his head and said respectfully to Li Changkong, All right, you guys might not be able to accept this yet. This is normal. However, you guys have to know that zombies can keep getting stronger by devouring humans. There are over a hundred thousand human corpses in that tunnel. How to dispose of them is your own business. Li Changkong's words fell as he carried Colonel Jack and turned to leave, only leaving behind Zhang Tianji and the others who looked at each other in dismay. In fact, Li Changkong's heart had a koan for Zhang Tianji and the others. If Zhang Tianji and the others were unable to accept things like cannibalism, then they were doomed to not be able to become stronger. Such zombie henchmen were not what he wanted. What he wanted was an invincible zombie force. Then he could only give up Zhang Tianji and the others. The best result would be to kill Zhang Tianji and the others. Otherwise, it wasn't a good thing for the group of them to disturb the army's center of gravity. And looking at Li Changkong's departing back, among these 22 zombies, most of them had a tangle and struggle appearing on their faces. They were torn between whether or not to go and eat the hundred thousand or so living corpses in the middle of the tunnel. And at this time, there was a youth who gritted his teeth and took the lead with red eyes. Master has just made it very clear. We are no longer human at all. In the future, we are destined to go on the opposite side of the living people in the outside world. This group of people have already been exterminated by the soldiers, and if we stay here, we will only end up being eaten by other zombies, and end up becoming the power of other zombies. Then it's better to become our own power. Enhancing our own power will also enable us to live in this world better. I don't want to die. Whether it's a zombie or a human, I don't want to die, he said as he walked. The voice was loud, as if he was cheering himself up again. However, his words were also transmitted originally into the ears of the other zombies. That's right. Before, I was only able to be a small detective. And now, it's different. Master has granted me power. I can become stronger. I can live the life of a man. I can be a king. I don't want to die under someone else's gun. I don't want to be a dog that someone else waves at me and calls me. For that, I am willing to pay any price. One young man roared, then ran towards the tunnel with big strides. The leading role of these two people completely made the others originally wavering scales gradually deviate towards the side of the zombies. More and more zombies rushed towards the direction of the tunnel. Zhang Tianji, on the other hand, looked at their departure with a complicated face. His face was hard to see. He very much wanted to persuade the group of them, letting them know that they were still human. Still retaining humanity. Not able to be completely counted as zombies. But he knew. No one would listen to him. Even, he might have violated the public's anger. At that time, they wouldn't care about their past feelings. They would definitely strike out at him. But, if he didn't follow up at this moment, he would end up facing the same result. In fact, it is also similar. Everyone has eaten people, just you are not willing to eat people. Then in the end, his end must be that he died because of some accident. He gritted his teeth, then as if he had made some sort of determination, walked towards the tunnel. Li Changkong looked at their departing backs. A smile surfaced on his face. This was the first time he had seen that humanity was constantly being worn down under a great power and finally turned into a machine that only knew how to kill. With the first compromise, then there would be countless times. Zhang Tianji could no longer go back. From the moment they were willing to follow Li Changkong at that time, they were already doomed. In the middle of Russian Speed City, ten years after the end of the world, he had also seen people eating people with his own eyes. But, that was ten years, and it was only under desperate circumstances that someone would do such a thing. And now, the end times had only just begun. These zombies were able to do such things. They should be far from desperate. Then the reason that made them go cannibalistic was nothing more than that. Because of the greed within their hearts, the desire for power, human nature. But it was just like that. Li Changfeng shook his head. Then he looked at Colonel Jack who had been completely scared to death. At this moment, Colonel Jack no longer had the ice coldness from before, no longer had the toughness from before, at this moment, he had been completely scared out of his wits. Let me go. Let me go. Please. Please. I can do anything for you. Colonel Jack hurriedly knelt down and begged for mercy. Li Changfeng, on the other hand, looked at the white colonel and a touch of mocking rhyme appeared on his face. No one could have imagined. The white colonel in front of him who had been scared to death. He had just ordered his soldiers to kill over 100,000 living people. I won't kill you. Li Changkong said indifferently. Many thanks. Many thanks for not killing me. Jack had all but despaired. Although he didn't know how the group of zombies in front of him were able to keep their memories. Keep themselves awake. But these were no longer important. What mattered was that the other party didn't kill themselves. This was the best ending. You tell me, 
Who was the officer who was stationed outside of Russian Speed City before? Li Chong Kong asked. You, 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 Jack sniffed and froze at once. It was only at this time that he noticed. It turned out that this zombie in front of him actually had a broken arm. It was exactly the same as the young man who blew up the fence outside of Russian Speed City yesterday morning and ran out. It turns out, this person was the one who ran out from the middle of Russian Speed City. He finally understood now, why there was a sudden outbreak of the zombie virus in Sunset City. It was all because of this person. It's all because of Li Chang Kong. He's the one who made Sunset City fall into the apocalypse. Tens of millions of people became cannon fodder. Zombies. But shouldn't he be thousands of miles away in Russian Speed City? How did he end up in Sunset City? And the apocalypse had only been breaking out since yesterday afternoon. How could he run from Russian Speed City to Sunset City in just a few hours? This speed was a bit too fast. He was aware that the upper echelons of the Federation were now frantically investigating the origin of this Sunset City zombie virus. However, nothing had been found yet. If they knew the origin of the zombie virus, everything was because of that teenager in the middle of Russian Speed City. They would definitely go crazy. Eh? Li Chong Kong frowned. I say, I say. Colonel Jack snapped in response. That man is called, Michael, he is the former colonel of the Sea Wave Commandos, and he is currently still stationed outside of Russian Hacking City. At least until just now, I hadn't received any transfer orders from the other side. Colonel Jack said in a hurry. Li Chong Kong nodded at his words. Then he took out a small bottle from his pocket and handed it to Colonel Jack. This is, what is this? Colonel Jack trembled when he saw this, and had an ominous feeling inside. I can give you a mission without killing you. Drink this thing, turn into a zombie, and then pour the remaining bottle of this zombie virus in Blackwater City's waterworks. Li Chang Kong laughed grimly, a flash of madness in his eyes. Colonel Jack sniffed, his eyes wide with shock. This man, he actually didn't just want to turn Sunset City into Armageddon. He actually wanted to make Blackwater City turn into Armageddon. It's hard to believe that. He was trying to make the entire end times descend upon the world? How is this possible? This was a bit too crazy. I drink. I'll drink. Colonel Jack nodded frantically, feeling Li Chang Kong's dangerous gaze. He didn't dare to say half a word of no. Otherwise, the next moment he would have to land on his head. He carefully unscrewed the cap of the bottle and looked at the scarlet liquid inside. His inner panic had come to its peak. As long as he drank what was inside, he would turn into a zombie that ate human flesh and blood for a living turning into a monster, then how could he return to the Federation? The other party was simply forcing himself to a dead end. But there is no way, in order to be able to live, one could only do as he was told. He drank a drop of blood. The next moment, his entire body directly screamed miserably. Ah! He wailed in agony and rolled over and over on the ground. His skin was turning gray at a speed visible to the naked eye, and his eyes turned scarlet at this moment. His fingers began to rot, and scarlet blood continuously flowed from his nails, carrying an endless virus. A moment later, he slowly climbed up from the ground. He looked at Li Chang Kong, his eyes filled with respect. Master. Although he didn't know why he addressed the other party in such a way, but he only felt as if the moment he looked at Li Chang Kong, it felt as if he had already submitted himself. It was a sense of submission that came from the bloodline, from the soul. He was unable to control himself and curb this reaction. Li Chang Kong smiled and nodded. Go. Complete my mission and come back to me, Li Chang Kong said slowly with a smile. Blackwater City was a city 300 kilometers outside of Sunset City. It had a population of over 5 million. All the way over to Blackwater City, all the road fortresses were all blocked by the military. Colonel Jack is from the military. He might be able to get through. Even if he can't get there, there's no loss to him, just letting the other side die halfway. But if he succeeds, then it will turn Blackwater City into a hell on earth as well. At that time, he wanted to see, the Federation's choice, will they continue to blockade Blackwater City, or send troops to rescue Blackwater City, seal off the cities one by one, he wants to see, just how many cities the Federation could seal, yes, master, Colonel Jack cried out, respectfully, then walked towards the distance, although his power became stronger after turning into a zombie, strength also increased, even he had some mental preparation, but, he didn't want to just let himself turn into a zombie ah, how was he going to live after turning into a zombie? Call me after completing the mission. Li Chang Kong said and handed him a card. His phone number was written on it. Yes, master, I will definitely complete the mission. Jack said respectfully, although he didn't know why he was obeying Li Chang Kong. Colonel Jack drove a car towards Blackwater City. Along the way, he also called the Federation. Informed about everything, they were attacked by over 100,000 zombies. 
Although they killed all these walkers, they suffered heavy losses. He was the only one in the entire army who was still alive. Currently, he was on his way to Blackwater City. The top was very commended for his valor. Then they let him stay well in Blackwater City. After hanging up the phone, Colonel Jack's eyes flashed with a complexity. He knew that he could not go back. He had already turned into a zombie. The top management of the Federation didn't care what he had done for the Federation, how much he had accomplished. The best thing that could happen to him would be to enter the lab for the professors to study the zombie virus. The worst thing that could happen to him would be to be shot on the spot. That's why he mustn't let the top management of the Federation know. He had now become a zombie. At the same time, he had to fulfill Lee Chonkong's mission. Otherwise, the same thing that awaited him was death. The fact that he was able to be ruthless enough to kill all the over 100,000 civilians meant that his desire to live was very high. The ass determines the head. Being a man, doing things for the Federation, all of his natural starting points were to do things for the Federation. He wanted to obtain a higher official position, grasp more power, and now, he had turned into a zombie. Then all his thoughts should change, he should be a man to be a man, and when he became a zombie, he naturally wanted to be the king amongst the zombies. It's not me who's wrong, it's this fucked up world. Jack murmured a sentence in a low voice. In his opinion, what the Federation did was fundamentally wrong. In the beginning, if they had been able to order the dispatch of the army into the middle of Russian Speed City to rescue the surviving civilians, destroy the zombies, then there wouldn't have been any of this happening today. At that time, he was in a high position, so naturally, he had no aversion to all of this. Now that he had become a victim of it, he naturally had a reason to start refuting the Federation's decision. The Federation's behavior. Unfortunately, it's too late to repent, Jack murmured, shaking his head. Blackwater City. It was a large city with a population of 5 million. Although it was not as famous and prosperous as Sunset City, but it was just as much of a modernized city. At the moment, this place was peaceful and prosperous, a peaceful and peaceful world. Men and women were holding each other's hands, talking and laughing as they walked. The hum of sports cars echoed through the streets. The shouts of vendors echoed in people's ears. This place was simply too peaceful. Sunset City was only 300 kilometers away from Blackwater City, yet it was like two worlds, two worlds in general. Vote. Vote. Official microwave, voting on the website. There is a zombie crisis in Sunset City. Vote on whether or not to help Sunset City, or put it under siege. There were some of the Federation's bottom officials who were driving their cars with speakers in them, playing these words in a constant loop. Since the top echelons of the Federation had decided that they wouldn't save Sunset City, then it was necessary to find a way to get all of these losses back from these civilians. Shit. Another vote? Do we still need to vote? What's so worth saving about Sunset City? It's really no fun to have to spend a hundred dollars of my voting money for nothing. Why don't we just come up with an option to just use a nuclear bomb to level Sunset City to the ground? Damn, that would save too much trouble and there's no chance of a zombie crisis breaking out again. A young man cursed. Are you an idiot? How about the fact that Blackwater City is only 300 kilometers away from Sunset City, if a nuclear bomb exploded from the middle of Sunset City? Wouldn't the nuclear radiation have to destroy our place as well? You want to get fucking killed, go to the side. I think it's already very humanitarian for the Federation to let Sunset City be besieged and let the people in Sunset City fend for themselves. A middle-aged man cursed. That young man shrunk his head when he heard the middle-aged man's curses, and then left with quickened steps. And the sound of such words still echoed throughout Blackwater City. Or rather, the entire world. After a day of fermentation, the entire world had already known. Sunset City with a population of 10 million had completely fallen and become a zombie paradise. Countless zombies had been birthed in it. At this moment, the number of votes on the internet in favor of having Sunset City surrounded has reached 7 billion. You know, this world has a total of only 10 billion people. There are still more than a billion people in remote mountainous areas that don't have a network at all. This number of votes had basically reached the votes of all the netizens in the entire world. The number of votes for the army to go to the rescue was less than 50 million. And this 50 million had already been scolded by countless people as muggles. Grass mud horse. Who the hell chose to let the army go rescue Sunset City? Yes. Aren't soldiers born by their parents? Are the lives of soldiers not lives? The destruction of Sunset City can only be blamed on them. It's probably because they've done something that angers the heavens and the people that they've ended up in such a state. But the ending is still good, it's good that Sunset City is surrounded, just like the original Russian hacking city, but I hope that the defense will be a bit tighter this time, so that there won't be a repeat of what happened in Russian hacking city yesterday. Yes, maybe, the outbreak of the zombie virus in Sunset City is because of which young man in the middle of Russian hacking city, 
Otherwise, how can we explain that he just came out of the city, and that afternoon, the zombie virus appeared in Sunset City? Hey, it's a pity that my online girlfriend is still in the middle of Sunset City, and now this kind of thing has happened, and I had said that I would go to Ben now tomorrow. Fortunately you did not go, otherwise, it is estimated that you are now also turned into a zombie. Complice netizens posted comments. It seemed to them that things were not a matter of concern. So what if Sunset City had a population of 10 million? There was nothing to do with them. As long as all the people in Sunset City were walled up, then they would be able to rest on their laurels forever. After a while, the people of the world would naturally forget about Sunset City's existence. It's just like Russian Speed City. And if it weren't for humanitarian considerations, it might even be possible to send bombers directly to bomb Sunset City. That would be the real way to put Sunset City's 10 million people at risk. Nowadays, they were at least a little bit humane. The people in Blackwater City were also completely unaware of the tragedy that had occurred in Sunset City. The tragedy that happened in Sunset City. It was about to happen to them as well. And at which point, how desperate would they be? How much would they hate that they didn't support Sunset City being saved? And to which point? Would anyone still choose to take on Blackwater City to be saved? Sarcasm. Sunset City. Airport. It was already overcrowded at the moment. There were quite a few people who knew that walking out by land was no longer possible. This was because Russian hacking city was a foretaste of what was to come. When Russian speed city was blockaded, not a single person was able to run out from the ground. Therefore, there were smart people who immediately thought of the airplanes in Sunset City's airport. Sunset City, as a super large city with a population of 10 million, was a large tourist city. Of course it had an airport. And it's also an international airport. There were hundreds of airplanes in it. At this moment, countless people were outside the airport, blocking it, wanting to go in, get inside, and get on an airplane. And then escape this hell on earth. Don't crowd, don't crowd. A middle-aged man, who was large and poofy, walked over with a smile. Behind him were dozens of burly men with firearms. They were originally the local gangsters of Sunset City, at the moment of the zombie virus outbreak. They were under investigation in the police station. When the apocalypse broke out, they wiped out the police station on the spot then snatched all the firearms. At the same time he knew, there was only one way to leave Sunset City. That is through an airplane. So he directly led his men down to the airport and took control of the entire airport. For the sake of now, let us in. What gives you the right to block us and not let us in? That's right. This airport is owned by the Federation. Why are you blocking us from entering? Let's fight them. Damn it. Kill them. Now that Sunset City has become a doomsday, we'll surely die if we stay here. A group of people let out a roar. When Brother Xiong heard this, he frowned slightly. He then directly pulled out his pistol and aimed a shot at a middle-aged man in front of him. Bang! That middle-aged man directly fell to the ground in response. Ah! Murdering people! Murder! Yikes! Help! Murder! Murder! Save me, let me in, I can pay you guys. Brother Xiong's killing tactics directly shocked everyone present. Immediately everyone fell silent. And at this time, Brother Xiong looked at the people at the scene and said with a cold smile. Now, I announce, one million dollars for one spot. You can get on the plane if you want to. One million federal dollars. And one million in gold bars. After his words fell, everyone looked at each other in disbelief. Obviously none of them had expected it. At this point in time, this brother Xiong was even thinking about making money. Brother Xiong certainly had his own calculations. Nowadays, the end of the world was only enveloping Sunset City not the entire federation. As long as the airplane is out of Sunset City, money can still be spent. Then directly take advantage of this opportunity to make a fortune. Directly earn a few billion out. By then, directly driving the plane to the other side of the world. He would be able to live in style for the rest of his life. For him, today's Sunset City was not the end of the world at all, but a paradise. A windfall that was enough to make him become a dragon and fly into the sky. How can you ask for money? Why don't you go robbing for a million dollars? Damn. One million is a little too expensive, right? Who can take this out? What time is it? But still think about money. Let me in. I'll sleep with you for a night. The airport isn't yours, it's the Federation's. The Federation hasn't even asked us for money, so what gives you the right to collect it? Immediately, someone roared angrily. Xiong, on the other hand, sniffed and said with a disinterested expression. You can be given three hours to get the money together. After three hours, I will leave Sunset City, of course, I will blow up all the other airplanes when I leave. At that time, you still won't be able to escape Sunset City. So, give me a million dollars immediately. I only want one million. Brother Xiong sneered. It wasn't like he didn't want to go over and grab it. But there were too many people here. He couldn't possibly kill all the people here, could he? 
It wasn't like he was a devil. It wasn't like he was a homicidal maniac. And now with this situation, he naturally couldn't wait here for too long. The hell knows that after some more time, what will happen? So, he only stays for three hours. After three hours, no matter how much money he could make, he had to leave. Otherwise, it was likely that he would never be able to leave again. I give. I give. I have a million dollars. At this time a young man in a suit came over and said with an anxious face, How do I give it? The young man asked in a hurry. She looked at Brother Xiong. Bank transfer it. Brother Xiong swept a glance at the young man. Soon, he received a bank transfer of one million dollars. Good, go and stay by the side. After three hours, we'll leave together. Brother Xiong smiled and nodded. To come out and hang out was to keep one's word. He had received the money, so naturally, he had to fulfill his promise. I have the real estate license for Sunset City, do you want it? A man jumped out at this time and said, Fuck you, Sunset City's real estate license? I'll give you the entire city, do you want it? Get the hell out of here if you don't have the money. One of Brother Xiong's junior brothers sniffed and immediately rushed up, kicking the other party over onto the ground. When the others saw the scene, even though they were extremely upset inside, they still dared to be angry. They very much wanted to charge straight in. However, the dozens of people on the other side were holding pistols in their hands, and no one dared to rush up at this time. Not much time. There were another 30 to 40 people who took a million dollars to Brother Xiong, and more people ran out furiously towards the outside. They were going to the bank to rob the money. Now that the whole city was paralyzed, the banks were full of money, and there was even gold in the bank vaults. They were going to use this money to get a way out for themselves. Three hours passed slowly. Xiong brought over a hundred million dollars in cash, and a bunch of gold bars, and over a billion dollars in transfers. With over a thousand people, he walked towards the airplane. More than a thousand people simply couldn't fit in one airplane. So they dispersed on their own. And this time Xiong got the money he wanted, so naturally he wouldn't continue to tangle with them about anything. He also didn't choose to blow up the entire airport. Otherwise, it would seem a little too desperate, not leaving a little way for others to live. Just now, he had said such words just to say them to put others in a compromising position. Get rich. Wealthy. In the middle of an airplane. Brother Xiong said with an excited face. Then he directly gave all of these several hundred pounds of gold bars in front of him to his little brothers. You guys just split these gold bars. After you go out, follow me and eat delicious food and drink spicy food. Brother Xiong said with an excited face. It hadn't occurred to me that a man in his middle age would still be able to have such a heaven-breaking fortune. Ha ha ha. It was simply unimaginable. The airplane slowly flew up. Not long after the plane lifted off. Bang. An explosion came. Xiong then saw it. An airplane not far away directly exploded. And not far away was a Federation fighter jet, firing missiles continuously. Grass mud horse. When brother Xiong saw the scene, he immediately roared in anger. Them. How could they? When brother Xiong saw the scene, he only felt his body tremble. Sweat hairs all over his body stood upside down at this moment. There was no way he could have imagined. The people of the Federation were so ruthless. Not only had they blocked off the land, even the sky had been blocked. Even if they wanted to take an airplane to escape from Sunset City, they couldn't. And the plane that was just shot up was the best thing that could have happened. How can a civilian airplane escape the pursuit of a fighter jet? If they were shot by a fighter jet in the sky, they would surely die. There was absolutely no way they could have the slightest possibility of surviving. There was no hesitation. He immediately rushed out and rushed to the cockpit. Quickly, quickly turn around. Go back. He said to the captain in the cockpit with a panicked face. Turning back also takes time. Our plane has only just lifted off now. It's basically impossible to go back. In other words, we're dead. The captain also cried out with a look of panic on his face. Originally, he thought that he would be able to escape. It didn't occur to me. After flying into the sky, he couldn't even escape from the Federation's pursuit. This time was really dead. Bang! At this time, another violent explosion came. Only saw. Not far away, a civilian airplane was directly bombarded by shells and split into pieces. Then it fell to the ground. Boom! Shattering a tall building on the ground. There was no telling how many people would die from this explosion. But, there was no one in this world who would care anymore. The moment Sunset City was ordered to be sealed off. Sunset City was doomed. No one will be able to escape from it. Anyone who tries to escape is doomed. The end that awaits them will be death. It's just that before, they didn't understand. They were still holding on to the last glimmer of hope. Holding on to the last shred of fantasy. However, now the illusion is shattered. Hope is dashed. They're dead. No one can save them. Is there a parachute? Is there a parachute? I asked you a question. Xiong hissed in a hurry, inquiring. No. No. 
The captain shook his head, a look of horror on his face. The parachutes on top of the airplane were all for show. It was completely useless. Otherwise, those previous airplanes that had crashed wouldn't have been able to have everyone on them die. There would always be someone who could survive. But the truth is so cruel. It's over. Everything is over. Shyom sat paralyzed on the ground, muttering to himself. His eyes were filled with terror, and he couldn't help but twitch his body. Waiting for death. For a living person. The pressure that needed to be faced was infinite. Among the fighter jets, Richard looked at the airplane not far away with a playful face, his eyes filled with mockery. How ridiculous, these fools actually think that they can escape Sunset City by taking an airplane. Are the top brass of the Federation that stupid? Would they not even think of this? He muttered to himself in a cold voice. The entire sky of Sunset City had radar constantly detecting it. Once the takeoff and landing of an airplane was detected, fighter jets would be instantly dispatched to intercept these airplanes, absolutely not letting any of them escape Sunset City. Only in this way can the zombie virus be completely exterminated in Sunset City. The zombie virus will not be allowed to escape. Bye. Richard sneered. Then he pressed the cannonball firing button in his hand. Bang. A cannonball shot out. It hit the last civilian airplane. And it was at this time that Richard picked up his walkie-talkie and said, Headquarters. HQ. One has successfully sniped all the airplanes that took off. Make sure that no walkers will be able to leave Sunset City. Over. Soon the news came back from the walkie-talkie side. Roger. Roger. Staff Sergeant Richard you did a great job. You can come back now. Okay. Yes. Richard smiled and then flew the fighter in the direction of the base. At the same time, all of this was broadcast live by satellite. It was just like when they faced the Russian hacking city and the Li Changfeng siblings who came out from it. The Federation chose to broadcast all of this live. As a way to deter the other survivors amongst Sunset City from messing things up. At the same time, it was for the rest of the world to watch, attracting their attention and thus avoiding many internal conflicts. The world was so foolish. Originally, they were still demonstrating because of a criminal case that happened to a high-ranking official. After this live broadcast was turned on, they directly shifted their attention. They went to watch the live broadcast. Only the original victim's family was left behind, crying out in agony for help, hoping that someone would be able to help them. However, this was simply impossible. And this kind of thing was still happening in every corner of this world. The Federation ruled the world for 200 years. 200 years was too long for the Federation. The Federation today was completely corrupt. For the sake of the interests in their hands, the top brass are capable of doing anything. Even the controllers of power didn't feel that they were of the same race as the civilians at the bottom. Shit. Should have gotten them all killed. The Federation did a good job. Long live the Federation. It's fortunate that this group of Sunset City's people were exterminated, otherwise, if they escaped and scattered all over the world, it would have caused the zombie virus to appear all over the world. That would be terrible. Yes, although it's true that the Federation doesn't do things very well some of the time, but in the face of things like the zombie virus, the Federation is still doing a very good job. The Federation has already paid enough for us people. It directly endured the pain of giving up 10 million people of Sunset City for our safety. We should be grateful to the Federation. Cherish the hard-won happiness now, if when we were in the middle of Sunset City, we might have died long ago. Countless people posted pop-ups, and countless people expressed their opinions. Yet not a single person was willing to speak a word of justice for the millions of people in Sunset City. Perhaps there was one. But soon, the other person would be drowned out by the endless tirades that would come their way. What's more, they would be directly cyberbombed, finding out their address, finding out their true identity. And then they'd be blocked and beaten up on the spot and no one would bother to notice. The original news headlines, which should have been a, Federal Speaker of the House of Representatives robbed my family of a billion dollars of property and killed my parents, news, has now been overwhelmed by the news of the zombies. The people in Blackwater City were applauding this. However, what they don't know is the disaster that happened in Sunset City. Now it was about to happen to them. They were about to pay the price for their indifference. Outside Blackwater City, Jack drove the military's automobile and arrived at the entrance of the checkpoint. Colonel Jack, you're finally back. A colonel walked out and said to him with a respectful face. The above had already informed him a long time ago. Recently there would be a Colonel Jack who was stationed in Sunset City would return. Colonel Jack had led his troops to exterminate over a hundred thousand zombies. However, he had also lost all of his troops. This was a hero of the Federation. He only felt awe-inspiring. You've had a hard time. Colonel Jack, on his pale face, surfaced a smile. Then took out his officer's license. He had gloves on his hands and his uniform was neatly worn. It didn't look any different from a normal person. 
The colonel on the opposite side took his officer's license and nodded after taking a look at it. Release. He waved his hand. Immediately, a soldier moved the iron fence on the road. Colonel Jack then drove his military vehicle and drove into the middle of Blackwater City. Blackwater City. Colonel Jack looked at the traffic that could be seen everywhere. Pedestrian couples could be seen everywhere, holding hands and laughing with each other. The street vendors were hawking their products. Curbside restaurant waiters were pulling in customers on the street. Jack slowly closed his eyes. When he opened them again, a glint of ice appeared in his eyes. He gripped whichever water bottle was in his arms. It was filled with the zombie virus. He now sort of knew why Sunset City had fallen so quickly. Because, Li Chang Kong had injected the virus into Sunset City's waterworks. As a result, the virus spread to every corner of Sunset City in a very fast time. This led to the spread of the virus to every corner of Sunset City in a very short period of time. It caused millions of zombies to appear in Sunset City. And he, now has to be like Li Chang Kong. Go and poison Blackwater City. Let the entire Blackwater City be turned into a zombie paradise. Turn it into a hell on earth. He knows, as long as he does this, the happiness and stability of Blackwater City will completely disappear. The entire Blackwater City will be turned into a purgatory. But, he had no choice. He had already become a zombie. Paper can't wrap fire. He could hide for a while, but not for a lifetime. If Li Chang Kong failed in the end, then what awaits him will also be death. He didn't want to die. He drove his car in the direction of the water plant. Very quickly, he stopped a kilometer away from the water plant, choosing to walk towards that side on foot. After he turned into a zombie, his body's quality was much better than before. He dodged the surveillance, came under the fence and squatted quietly, waiting for the arrival of darkness. After the darkness arrived, he was going to sneak in. This group of scumbags from Sunset City, they even wanted to escape by airplane. Really damn it, don't they know how much of a disaster they will bring to our world after escaping? Yeah, it's simply too selfish, there's no spirit of dedication at all. Besides, even staying in Sunset City doesn't necessarily mean you'll die. Our Blackwater City is also unlucky to be in the vicinity of Sunset City, can't you see how many people have directly left Blackwater City in the past two days? Luckily, the Federation reacted in time, and blocked off the entire Sunset City in advance, otherwise, our Blackwater City would have suffered. Jack was able to clearly hear. Inside the enclosure, several people were discussing. Something about Sunset City. Gradually their voices kept getting farther and farther away. Finally until it was completely inaudible. Time passed slowly. Soon, night slowly descended. And Colonel Jack also at this moment, directly leaped onto the fence. Sneaking into the middle of this waterworks. The Federation actually didn't even bother to investigate why exactly zombies appeared in Sunset City. Because from beginning to end, the policy they adopted for Sunset City was a direct blockade. Jack muttered in his mind. If the Federation had been able to go and investigate the source of the virus, perhaps Li Chang Kong would have died. He wouldn't have become what he is today. Perhaps nowadays, the waterworks would have been tightly guarded, instead of being like it is now, with no one guarding it at all. This was what gave him the opportunity to take advantage of it. He went straight to the water plant's premises, sneaking into it, seeing this huge pool in front of him. Jack was puzzled, this less than 500 milliliters of zombie virus in his hand. Could it really be able to turn the entire Blackwater City into a hell on earth? Plunging into this pool would not even cause a single ripple. He shook his head, throwing out these distractions in his mind. He only needed to complete his task well. Then he directly unscrewed the cap of the bottle and poured all of the virus in it into the pool. Afterwards, he also felt that it might be a bit unsafe. Even cut his arm with a knife so that his blood, which was carrying the zombie virus, flowed into the pool. After doing all this, Jack quietly left the water plant again. Then, he then felt a wave of hunger, he felt a wave of hunger coming from all over his body, every organ, every cell of his body, was craving for the taste of devouring life. His eyes were crimson, his eyes filled with bloodlust and madness. Blackwater City will soon be turned into a human inferno. I was no longer human in the first place. It shouldn't be too much to eat a human, right? Jack whispered to himself. He then began to search the road. He was cautious, where it was easy to be exposed, he dared not strike, where there were many people, he dared not strike. A few people grouped together, he dared not strike. Finally, he found a young man who had fallen alone. And this section of the road didn't have many streetlights, the lights on the road looked very trance-like, bright and dim. It's you! A cruel smile surfaced on Jack's face. Then he directly rushed up with quick steps. What are you going to do? The young man heard the footsteps behind him and turned around in a hurry. Then he saw Jack's pair of scarlet eyes. Ah, a zombie. One inch. Seeing this scene, the youth hurriedly cried out in alarm, then turned around and was about to run away. 
However, Jack directly pounced on him. He directly pressed the other party under his body, then opened his mouth and bit down on the other party's neck. Scarlet blood with warmth instantly poured into Jack's mouth. Jack's consciousness completely died at this moment. At this moment, he only had madness and greed for blood. The young man underneath him passed away and stopped struggling after a moment. A sound of chewing and swallowing followed. There was also the sound of meat being torn apart. Crunch! Crunch! The sound of bones being chewed. Constantly echoing in this one silent street. And the entire Blackwater City. Also at this moment, drastic changes began to occur. Blackwater City. In the middle of a rented house. A youth was sitting in front of a computer, constantly tapping the keyboard. Shit! You want the people of Sunset City to come out so badly? Then why don't you just follow them inside Sunset City as well? Those mongrels from Sunset City want to run out even when they're on a plane, it's a completely selfish attitude to the extreme, not even a little bit of responsibility, don't you know how much of a catastrophe they'll bring to our world if they escape? You even said on the internet that you want us all to vote to save Sunset City? Are you out of your mind? People like you living in the world are simply wasting the world's food. A waste of the world's air. The youth continuously typed out line after line of characters, responding to a netizen whose motherly heart was bursting at the seams. It was enough to reply hundreds of characters later. Only then did he let out a long breath. Damn, why are there so many saints in this world? The Federation made such a right choice that there are people who are able to pop up and make a negative vote, it's simply overwhelming. He shook his head. He then got up and went to the kitchen to pick up a pot of water and began to cook the bubbling noodles. It was at this time that he suddenly heard a wailing and hissing sound coming from next door. Help! Help! There are zombies! The youth's face changed slightly when he heard this sound, and he hurriedly put his head over and listened carefully to the sound from next door. However, there was no more sound coming from next door. Miss Heard? It's been such a stressful period of time that I've even experienced hallucinations? Aren't things like zombies only found in Russian Speed City and Sunset City? Sunset City has been blockaded, it's completely impossible for a single person to escape from it, how could there be zombies in the middle of Blackwater City? The youth murmured in a low voice, then shook his head. Walking to the side again, he began to cook up bubble noodles. However just at this time, he suddenly heard one after another mournful screams and cries for help coming from outside the building. Help! There are zombies! Help! Help! Help me! There are zombies! Cannibalism! Don't bite me, please, don't bite me! Oof! The youth's face changed violently after hearing the voice. Then he directly rushed to the window and looked towards the outside. He only saw that at this moment, the night had fallen, and it was dark outside, with the dim street lights emitting a faint glow, making him not able to look too closely. But he was still able to see that there was a middle-aged man lying on the ground in an unwilling place, and that middle-aged man's body was pressing a woman. At the moment the woman is constantly shouting, the voice of help, the body is constantly struggling. Then the cries and cries for help became smaller and smaller. Finally the whole person completely lost movement. The youth, however, was able to see that the middle-aged man was continuously tearing something off the woman's body. Crap! When the youth saw the scene, his eyes widened, his eyes were filled with horror, and waves of shock were already rising within him. How is it possible? How is it possible? How could there be a zombie in the middle of Blackwater City? Shit! How is this possible? Sunset City has been blockaded. How could the zombie virus spread to our Blackwater City? The young man's eyes were filled with panic as he trembled and kept muttering. No. Escape. I have to escape. Right. Take advantage of the fact that Blackwater City has only just had a zombie virus outbreak. It's not serious yet. The Federal High Command hasn't reacted and ordered the blockade of the entire Blackwater City yet. Escape immediately. He kept saying to himself. Then he directly picked up his cell phone and rushed out of the house. He was lucky. There were no zombies on the building. He directly entered the basement, started his Fule Hongwang, and then directly started it and drove in the direction out of the city. Just drove out of the basement. Roar! A hissing sound came. A zombie whose face was covered in blood and whose flesh had rotted off, then lunged towards his car. Gulp! The youth swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Then he directly stepped on the gas and directly knocked this zombie out. Bang! The front end of his car was also dented. But he didn't stop for a second. Bang! The railing of the basement exit was also sent flying straight out by him. Then he sped directly in the direction of leaving the city. Help! Save me! Please! Somebody help me! Woo woo! Zombie! Zombies! Help! Mommy! Dad! Woo woo! Countless people on the street hissed and wailed, scurrying like rats. And everywhere on the street there are zombies constantly appearing, are pouncing on one after another survivor. On the ground, there were corpses with broken arms and thighs everywhere. And at this moment, all of these corpses began to wobble and climb up from the ground. Oh my god. 
How did the good old Blackwater city become like this? The youth's eyes were filled with panic, and at this moment, right in front of him were several survivors running around frantically. Seeing a car coming, they actually didn't dodge, but instead waved their hands at his wooling Hongwon with a face of surprise, wanting the youth to stop and hitch them a ride on the car. And not far behind them, there were three zombies chasing towards them. When the youth saw the scene, he stared wide-eyed with panic in his eyes. He didn't know what he should do at this moment. This road wasn't exactly wide. He simply didn't have time to turn around. And once he stopped, it was very likely that these three zombies would run into the car by then. The most crucial thing was, he didn't know. Those three people on the opposite side, did they have the zombie virus inside their bodies? He swallowed a wad of saliva, and a flash of killing intent and madness flashed in his eyes. Shit. Don't block my way. I'll run you over if you block my way. The youth roared angrily, then violently honked the horn. Tick tock tick tock. The ear piercing sound of the horn echoed throughout the street. However, those few people did not dodge at all. Because, there was no way back for them. If the owner of the car in front of them didn't drag them on, then what awaited them would definitely be death. They could only go and gamble. Gamble that the other party would stop. Save us. Please. Big brother. Stop the car. Hurry up and stop the car. Help us. Please. Stop the car and help us. I can give you money. I have a lot of money. Ten million dollars. I'll give you ten million dollars. Several people were frantically hissing and pleading. However, their hissing and pleading, to the youth, only managed to make him indifferent. Shit. Not hiding right? Looking for death? You all brought this on yourselves. The youth roared angrily. Then slammed on the gas. Boom. The sound of the engine roaring directly burst out. Afterwards, the van directly rushed over, sending these few people flying. Bang! Several people fell heavily to the ground, covered in blood. When the youth saw this scene, his eyes were filled with madness. Don't blame me. It's all because you guys asked for it. You guys didn't dodge it yourselves. It's already the end of days now, Blackwater City is filled with zombies. If I stop, I won't survive. The youths murmured in low voices. One of the young girls was knocked out of the car and thrown heavily on the ground, being right in front of the car. Instead, the wooling Hongwang that the youth was driving ran over the woman's body directly without any bias. Plop. Ka Ching. The youth was sitting in the middle of the car and could clearly hear the sound of bones being crushed ringing out. The few zombies in front of him smelled this, and each one of them rushed over in a frenzy. Then they were also knocked out by the wooling Hongwang he was driving. Bang. Bang. Boom. They smashed heavily on the ground. The youth's wooling Hongwang continued towards the front situation again. The zombies, on the other hand, staggered back to their feet and lunged towards the ones he had just knocked away. Ah, woo woo, ah, miserable hissing sounds kept coming. The youth couldn't help but wince as he heard the mournful to the extreme screams coming from behind him. Don't blame me, don't blame me, it's all yourselves. You yourselves had to seek death. If you guys even dodged, you wouldn't have died. Don't blame me, don't ever blame me, blame me. Blame the existence that turned Blackwater City into this. Shit. How did the zombie virus appear in Blackwater City? The youth roared angrily and slammed his fist heavily on the steering wheel of the car, then continued traveling in the direction out of the city. Along the way, there were many cars, but the cars that were still traveling were already few and far between. It wasn't long. The youth then saw a section of the third ring road where a series of rear-end crashes were taking place. He was fortunate to have hit the brakes in time, which prevented him from crashing into it. However, instead, he was directly rear-ended. The car behind him crashed directly into his car. He immediately abandoned his car and fled. There was no desire to tangle with the other party. It's not much farther, only like the last two kilometers. Right. Shared bicycle. The youth looked to the side of the road, only to see a few shared bikes leaning against the side of the road. He immediately rushed over and scanned one with his cell phone. Because the zombie crisis had just broken out, there was still a signal in Blackwater City at the moment, and even everything was still functioning normally. Very quickly. He swept open this one shared bike, then he directly began to drive wildly, driving frantically in the direction out of the city. In less than three minutes, he came to a tunnel. After the tunnel, it was even out of the city. But now, in front of the tunnel, there was already a dense gathering of countless people. At first glance, there were at least 50,000 to 60,000 people. One glance could not see the end. Shit, how could there be so many people? The youth cursed angrily, then towards the front, he kept squeezing. He had to rush to the front. Grab the time to run away. Colonel Rowe looked at the black pressurized piece of survivors in front of him with a serious face. His head was big at the moment. He didn't have that much vigor to kill all of these 50,000 to 60,000 survivors in front of him. 
Most importantly, the top had not yet sent a notice for him to deal with this matter. He could not take the liberty of executing these 50,000 to 60,000 people. Therefore, he had no choice but to send all of his soldiers to strictly guard this tunnel, and the current situation was that no one was allowed to pass through. What are you guys doing? Hurry up and let us out. There's a zombie virus outbreak. Why are you guys stopping us? Let us out. We're all alive. Please let us out. Please. Shit. Charge through. Wait for the Federation's order, it'll be too late. We can't just sit around and wait to die. We can't put everything on the Federation. Countless people cried out, begged, hissed, and exclaimed. However, the armies in front of them, armed with guns, were indifferent. Everyone, please calm down. Colonel Lowe shouted. You must be patient. Wait for the notice given by the Federation. When the notification comes down, as long as we can let you all leave, we will open the passageway at the first opportunity to let you pass. Luo Wei continued to shout. No. The Federation has ordered Sunset City to be blockaded. Our Blackwater City is only a mere 5 million people. Sunset City has 10 million people. Right. If Sunset City with a population of 10 million can be blockaded, wouldn't our Blackwater City? Colonel. You are a good officer. Please let us out. Please. Whoa whoa, hurry up and let us out, please. Don't stop us, you're killing us by stopping us. I told you long ago, the relationship between Sunset City and Blackwater City is a relationship of lips and teeth. We had to do our best to defend Sunset City in the beginning, but now, well, Sunset City's downfall is our downfall, ah, uh, just wait, everyone will die. Shit, you're still pussyfooting around? Beat him to death. If it wasn't for Sunset City, how could there be zombies in our Blackwater City? If Sunset City had zombies without being blocked, our Blackwater City would have been finished long ago. Among the crowd, arguments had already begun. But all those who spoke in favor of Sunset City, chagrined at the previous decision, were all beaten up by the others. Within a short time, there were completely no more people helping Sunset City speak amongst the crowd. And all those people from before had been completely beaten to death. Beaten to death alive. Luo Wei frowned and didn't speak out to stop this from happening. He was just pondering why there were zombies in the middle of Blackwater City. He had received the order to guard Blackwater City the first moment the zombies appeared in Sunset City. In these two days, no one has been able to enter Blackwater City from the direction of Sunset City. Wait a minute. It seems like there is someone who entered Blackwater City. Luo Wei suddenly thought of it, the Colonel Jack who went in last night. The Colonel who had just killed over 100,000 zombies in the middle of Sunset City. But how can that be? Colonel Jack was a human being. He had seen clearly that Colonel Jack was able to talk to him. It couldn't be a zombie. Even if Colonel Jack was carrying the zombie virus. Even if his zombie virus outbreak was delayed. How could he, alone, have infected the entire Blackwater City? But it seemed that the only option currently placed in front of him was this one. Even how unwilling he was to believe it. He was only able to believe it. It was Jack. The one who turned Blackwater City into a hell on earth. It was Jack. The one who brought it all about. But... Why did he do this? Colonel Lowe felt vaguely in his mind that he seemed to have discovered something very remarkable. He felt that he might have to take great credit for this moment. 